Oh, good evening. I don't think I saw you there. Just kidding, I did. Hi there, my name's Cameron. I stream things sometimes. And tonight, I'm playing a lovely game called Valhalla. This is session number three, I think. I love this game to the core. Why? It's got cocktails. I like cocktails. Enjoy the party. I'm gonna start this off like I usually do for a lovely evening of cyberpunk bartending action with a cocktail. With my newly implemented from Saint fan suggestion, a full screen camera that puts the game in the corner. Let me get this started. I am going to, whoops, not do that. I'm gonna take my camera real quickly, try not to spaz anybody out and put it over here such that you can see my cocktail space. Let me move my microphone a little bit so it looks a little better. Oh, and welcome. This is my cocktail workspace. And I'm going to start things off a little crazy tonight. Crazy because I'm going to have a hard time pronouncing the first drink that I'm making. According to the Little Black Book, courtesy of my mother, it's called the Zam Zambawanga Hummer. Or perhaps it's pronounced Zambwanga. Zambawanga Hummer. Either way, it's a little crazy. It's just a little bit crazy. Now, because of the craziness, um, because of that craziness, I need to fill this up with some ice, which I did not have prepared in advance this time. So if you'll just excuse me for a moment as I walk over to the freezer. To obtain some ice. I'm not doing getting ice. Because I'm getting ice. That, and I need my measuring thing, which I, I have over here somewhere. I have no idea where that went. Perhaps it's over here. Hello? Where are you? Oh, that's unfortunate. One moment while I find my measuring majigger. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, Anna, did you find the majigger? Where is it? Where? Gotcha. Ho ho ho! All right. There you are. I had to retrieve my Leopold jigger, which is meant for measuring things. It jigs things, hence the name. <laughs> I was playing with cocktails earlier. So was my fiance. She put it to dry. But she's a lovely, lovely lady. Oh, anyway, over here. And the Zambuanga Hummer starts with a glass filled with ice. I don't want to use ice in the glass, so I'm putting in the shaker this time because I think it'll be cool looking. It calls for an ounce of gold rum. I'm not sure if this is considered gold rum, but Mount Gay is the goldest rum that I had laying around. So I'm gonna use that. And it starts with half an ounce of that into the cocktail glass. Half an ounce of that into the cocktail glass. Next on the list of things for the Zamboanga Hummer is gin for that as well. I will use the only gin that I have right now, which happens to be Blue Coat, just like last time. Why do they call it Blue Coat, you may ask? Well, quite simply, it's in a blue bottle, which is kind of like the coat for the liquor. I like it. That's the gin I got. That's the gin that I got for this particular purpose here. I need brandy. The only thing that I have that can be considered brandy at all is Laird's Applejack. And the only reason that I'm calling this brandy is because it's made from fruit. Like brandy happens to be. And if I had the time to walk way into the city to get proper brandy, a proper brandy branding for this particular experiment, then I'd be using that. But this one's got hints of apple in it. That's fruity enough for something as interesting as this particular cocktail beverage here. To add to the pizzazz, it also includes a little orange components. Which orange component, you may ask? Oh, the one that's clearly not orange, but looks like orange, blue curacao. The recipe actually calls for the option of blue curacao or triple sec, so it wants that orange, and depending on what else you put in it, it'll change the color considerably. This is blue. Why? Well, because it's not green. 
But then you'd have Midoriya, which is very green. And that's a Melanotaur, which I am not utilizing tonight, but will at some point because <laughs> it's green. And it looks awesome. Now, in addition to that, this one is shaken. It needs two ounces of orange juice. This is a big one. A big one. A big one, just like this big old jug of orange juice, which I have to shake because pulp, you know? That's orange juice, all right. And that requires two whole ounces of that. And I'll flip this thing around. I don't think I've ever actually poured it from the actual orange juice container. I juice my own oranges, but I don't have oranges today. I have clementines, and I don't think I have enough for two ounces of that without running out of clementines for the next drink that uses orange slash clementine slash tangerine or whatever else. Orange citrus that you may have on the menu today. The penultimate ingredient is pineapple juice. Two ounces of pineapple juice. I just realized I don't think I have a big enough glass for this. This is a lot of stuff. That's okay. I'm, I just guess I'll just have to work on it. Two ounces of the pineapple juice, which will go into Leopold Jigger and in the mixing glass. And there's one final thing that needs mentioning this drink, and it calls for a whole tablespoon of brown sugar. I've never used brown sugar in a drink before. It'd be interesting to make, I think my simple syrup was actually made with brown sugar. So it's got some, I don't know, brown notes to it. I don't know how to describe brown sugar in terms of regular sugar. I've never done a side-by-side -side comparison. I'd like to one day, but uh, I haven't had the opportunity to. Man, this is, this is rough. So let's do it. I just need at least just need a teaspoon of that. Doesn't have to be a big teaspoon, just a small one. Something, something just enough to get it into the glass and dissolve. I wish I had crushed this earlier. This is tough on my hands. All right, well, let's see if I can get some tiny bits up. Okay, scrape it up. Uh, that's like half a teaspoon. Uh, let's do another half a teaspoon. I'd say that's about another half. Cool. One teaspoon of not white sugar, not green sugar, not blue sugar, brown sugar. Brown because, well, this sugar was born that way. And that's where I'll end the story. And of course, with something that's put in a shaker, it must be shaken. So let's do that. Let's do that and shake it up. I think this is gonna come out green. Looks green to me. Oh, don't don't drip. Probably should have. I should have paper towels over here, but I don't. It's a weird one. It's a unique one. It's not a weird one. So I would put it in a very interesting and unique glass. We're making cocktails. You're darn right. We're making cocktails. It's a game about cocktails and bartending. So why not? This one is incredibly green. Oddly enough, because there's nothing green in it, but it has that blue curacao. Oh, can I fill it up all the way? Oh, can I do it? Was that perfect? I didn't even plan that. What am I making, Maxine Zill? Maxine the Eighth. Maxime. The Supreme Maxime the Eighth. This time, it is a Zambawanga Hummer, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Zambawanga spelled Z as in Zeta, A as in Apple, M as in Mango, B as in Berry, O as in Oh My, A as in Apple, N as in Nancy, G as in Gary, and then A as in Apple. It's crazy. 13? Oh, I totally misread that. Anyway, that's the Zambawanga Hummer. The Hummer like the car, and the Zambawanga like... I don't know. It's pretty weird. I gotta stop saying weird. It's just different. I like it. And it's super green. I love that. I wonder how that looks in the light. Let me grab whoop, the phone and see how that looks under some nice light. Boop. Let's see that from the back. That is pretty cool looking. Oh, that is funky. I like that. That's a hot screenshot. I'll take it. Perfect. Let's see what it tastes like. 
I asked my fiance to pick which drinks I'm making tonight, and this was the first one. What are you doing? Try it. Oh, here she comes. Hey, yo, what's up, dead girl? Try it. Here, hold on, hold on. Let me let me adjust the camera so they what's can watch us both trying it. Did you just did you just kick my bottles over? Yeah. Abe. Okay. All right. Don't get a little. Don't get too sick. I'm moving the camera back to its proper location. There we go. Give that a little adjustment. I think that looks good. Babe, come in the frame. She's in your, you're in your pajamas. This oh is the God. Zambawanga Hummer, and you'll have to be careful with this one, just like you did that Apple Teeny at date party. Oh God. Go ahead. If you spill it, that's fine. I'll clean it later. A lovely drink for a lovely lady. What do you think? What does it taste like to you? Poison. Like poison. Orange juice. Poison orange juice. So at least you got orange in there. There's there's curse down there, so. Zambuanga is a city in the Philippines, apparently. I love that. I feel bad for the Philippines. Uh, I don't feel bad, bad for the Philippines. I don't think it's... <laughs> it's well, not my type of drink. See, it's just too unique for you. I like the green. Join the party. God. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's orangey. You know, it's super, it's super sweet, too. I think. There is the sweetness that is totally reminiscent. Oh, which one is that? Which one is that? Which one? Oh, it's the orange juice, duh. And I honestly think I can taste a little bit of the apple from the Applejack in there. The gin and rum kind of get mixed up together. It's a little different. Join the party indeed. Oh, to answer your question, Max, I am not a bartender. I'd love to work as one one day, but I am an aspiring engineering student, and if I just went straight to bartending now, my parents would be like, and why did you spend money on college? But aside from that, I'd say I'm purely an enthusiast right now. I've been drinking cocktails since the late, the lab, legal age of 21. And that's where I'll end that story. It's nice. I think it's really, really unique. You know what? No. The sweetness is from the brown sugar. That's what it's got to be. It doesn't have any simple syrup in there. Hit you up with bartending tips. Yo! I'd absolutely love some tips. What kind of tips do you have for someone who's trying to expand their palate? That's the main... That's been my goal for the past couple years. Couple, as in two. I'm 23 right now. The math works out. What I've done so far is I've taken a wine class at my alma mater. I've taken, I'm taking a beer class at my alma mater to try to try as many things as I possibly can. Because, I mean, I, you, you hear about those sommeliers and whatnot, sommelier, however you pronounce it. But the sommeliers can take out, like, they can pick out the individual fruit notes and the esters, polyphenols, and various characteristics of the earth and terroir, which is just the taste of the land. But, like, you know, after drinking a lot of wine for the class, I started being able to figure that out, too. After drinking a bit of beer for the beer class, I'm starting to figure that out as well. It just... I, I feel like I agree with you. You just mix things together. You get as many things you could possibly can. And eventually, you just kind of... kind of the, the taste kind of comes second. Like, the, lo the love and the hobby of it comes first. And then everything else just kind of falls into there. And I, I'd say I've got that passion for it. I absolutely love making cocktails. It's become a really fun hobby. It's interesting, though, to talk to your friends who are perhaps... Haven't gotten to that gloriful age yet. To be able to purchase on their own. Or people like your extended family, and you're like, oh, like well, what kind of hobbies do you do? And I'm like, well, I draw stuff, I study for school, that's the majority of it. But I also mix cocktails on the side, and like, cocktails, like, alcohol? Like, are you doing okay? I'm like, of course, yeah, I'm doing okay. It's just, I have this, you know what, for lack of a better term, I have all of this liquor in my collection, and like, I can't just let it go to waste. So I have to use it. That's how it has to be. Otherwise, it would just sit there with no love. Oh, yeah. Very interesting hobby. It's cool. I mean, I, li I like to think of it no different than when I was a young, young lad. I used to take all, like, the... the I probably should have come a become a chemist. I would take all, like, the household things in the bathroom or underneath the sink, and I'd mix them together because I'm like, I want to know what happens. My love of chemistry fell out after taking AP Chemistry, and I was like, you know what? Computers are cooler, so that's what I wound up majoring in. And somewhere along the line, during my e early years of fraternity life, I was introduced to beer. And I was like, oh boy, what does the beer world have to offer? And it was stuff in cans that I now know to be more or less cereal lagers. And I'm like, wow, 
I don't like this. It's cheap. Maybe that's why. And somewhere along the lines, they were like, okay, well, what alcohol do you like? And I was like, I don't know. Uh, I like whiskey, I guess. And like, you can't. You must be lying. And as it turns out, yeah, I was lying just a little bit. I don't like whiskey on its own, per se. I like the pieces of the whiskey that come out as you're tasting it, as you're trying to identify what's going on in there. On its own, it's all right. It's pretty good. Unless you're looking for it, you're not necessarily going to get everything that the whiskey has to offer. But you mix it with things, the different combination of flavors just kind of, like, play into each other. And it's a, it's a wonderfully magical thing when you find that recipe and you're like, wow, this is crazy. What's what I enjoy with pure whiskey? I love the, the variety of flavors that you can get depending on what type of whiskey that you buy. I'd say very, sp if I could have to pick out something in sp particular... I recently went on a trip, well not recently, recently, like within the past year or two, went on a trip with some of my friends, and uh, his father's a little well off. So he was like, you know what, let's buy something nice. Excuse me. And he bought one of those very, very peaty, and by peaty I mean, imagine like wood chips in a forest, logs burning, the way that that smells, a little bit of acetone from like wood varnish, it kind of tastes like that. And that was super interesting to me. It was one of the things that opened up my eyes to it. I was like, you know what? That is such a different flavor. It is so unlike anything I've ever had before that I had to like it. Maybe I didn't like it like on my tongue, but I liked it because it was like nothing I've ever had before. And even before that, I tried a particular whiskey that I found out later tasted the way it does because it was uh, aged in oak barrels. But I had it at my friend's house and I was like, why does it taste like vanilla? Whiskey doesn't taste like vanilla, but it almost tastes like vanilla. He's like, I don't know. Why didn't you look it up? And as it turns out, that particular whiskey was aged in oak barrels. I learned from my wine class that, oh, if you have something that uh, ferments in oak barrels and ages in there, it might taste almost uh, vanilla-y. And I was like, wow, that's incredible. What do I not enjoy about whiskey? I don't know. I guess that it's not... Oh, Dill, all are done in oak. Cool. Cool, cool. But so... What do I not like about whiskey? I guess because it's not the same as other types of spirits. Like, I don't, like, what don't I like about whiskey? It doesn't have the same twang as, like, tequila. Or it doesn't have the same varietals and herbal notes as gin. I guess the only reason that I'd say that I don't like whiskey is because I do like other aspects of it compared to other spirits. I haven't, like, like... I guess I wouldn't say that I dislike any particular spirit. If I had a personal vendetta about any particular spirit, I would say that it's tequila. And that's just because it's a, it's, a, it's potent. It's like really really potent. Plus that's my that's my mother's poison of choice, tequila. So every time we'd be on family vacation, she'd be like, "Cameron, you want a sip of this?" And I'm like, "Oh, you've got tequila in there." She's like, "You're damn right I do." But you know, you try it enough. You start to be able to pick out things about it that you like. And I feel the same way about, like, the cereal beers that I originally disliked back in the frat days. Which still haven't technically ended, but, you know, whatever. There are some pieces of it. If you can pick out, like, a couple of things about anything that you eat, anything that you drink, that you enjoy about it, I feel like you'll appreciate the whole thing a lot more. And yes, I believe you might be... You're probably correct in correcting me on that. Some of them are in charred oak barrels. Some of them are not. Again, I haven't... I wouldn't say I have any particular academic accreditation accreditation for whiskey in particular. I haven't been able to take the whiskey class, unfortunately, because it doesn't exist. They have a cocktails class, but I wasn't able to uh, take that because they're not offering it this year, and that sucks. So there's a lot more research that is yet to be done on that, on, uh, that one. But, uh, yeah, that's what I'd say about it. Dead girl, you've got some Adderall over there. I hope you use it well. Instead of the an an needy biotic, the antibiotic. I hope you're doing all right. I'm doing all right. They say that the alcohol can stave off disease. Uh, anybody who tells you that is missing an entire other half of the story. Let's see. I don't see guy. Don't either. Yeah, yeah. All right. Totally into whiskey, but not an encyclopedia. Yeah, I get you. I get you. I mean, like. If I were, like, taking a class on it, I'd get right into that textbook. My nose would be in it, like, all the time, trying to read as much as possible, trying to suck up as much information that the textbook can give me. But, like, for something like this, I feel like it's it's the whole experience side of things versus the education side of things. 
and it's like you can know all you can about the whiskey but just because you know what's in this type of barrel it's charred like this it comes from these particular grains like but you don't know what it tastes like i mean there's definitely a there's an intersection in between like the whole if i didn't realize that oh that's this whiskey tasted like vanilla because of the american oak barrels that was it that's what i was thinking of it was specifically american oak not oak in general the american oak versus like french oak or in one case i had this wine that was i don't know what kind of oak it was but it might have been like I want to see. It may have been like an acacia tree, but I don't know if an acacia is type of oak. I'm not a I'm not a tree guy either, per se. Cocktail guy, engineer guy, but yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, indeed. <laughs> when you're not the age to drink it, don't rush, please. I will say to anybody who's under that age right now, I don't think you should rush it. Like, obviously, if you're gonna try things, do it in a safe environment where you're not likely to make any life-altering mistakes. Like, my mother would always tell me, and it, not really my father. My father had some crazy days behind me. He was like, oh, I don't want to be that example for my son. But my mother's like, oh, you ever want to try anything? Let me know. We can try it together. And uh, I, w I always really appreciated that about it. I never really took her up on the offer because it's like, come on, mom, I don't want to do that. That's not cool. But, like, eventually, I'd say the wait is totally worth it. I'd say it's totally worth it. Plus, like, plus, like fakes are expensive, and you might get arrested for it. So, like, <laughs> Oh, sweet. The acacia barrels. Is acacia a type of oak? I don't really know. I could probably consult the Google, which did started talking to me before. It was weird. But I'll move on from that. Method to the madness. I agree. I agree, Max. Anyway, I think we're here for a game. Or at least some of us are. Honestly, I'm here for the, I'm here for the cocktail. I like that. Oh, Method and Madness is the name of the whiskey. Ooh. The Acacia the Acacia Barrel Whiskey? That's cool. I'm gonna put that down on my list. I have tons of post-it notes around here. Not post-it notes. Uh, note cards for this very purpose in case somebody mentions some really wonderful tidbit of information. Method. And Madness. Acacia. Whiskey. Wonderful. I've got that written down, among other things. I want to try that. I wonder if they carry that at my local liquor store. Anyway. Mini distillery inside the Jameson. Oh! Ooh, I like that. That reminds me of a lot of the experimental beers that we've been going over in the beer class. Just crazy things. Double IPAs, triple IPAs, bunch of IPAs, quadruple IPAs. Other things in the realm of beerness, like wild ales or sour ales. And insert other weird term that you'll find in a beer dictionary here. But... Alas, that's above my pay grade, and I don't say I know enough to have the authority to speak on that. But what I do have the authority to speak on is a video game called Valhalla. And it's cocktails. It's a bartending action game, in case you're not familiar with the title. I've played through the whole thing before, about once before, and uh, it kind of got me into the whole enjoy your time, relax, take life slowly, and just... You're, you're along for the ride. And where are my saves? Where did I leave off last time? Uh, 20... 2021. There you are. There we go. 2021. I had to... Had to figure something out. All right. Uh, I already read this last time. Bought the stuff that I wanted. Wonderful. Then we shall continue. Boss left the hoodie anyway. Your dad peer pressured you into to testing beer... Well, I suppose he's trying to get you exposed to this stuff at a young age. I was exposed to whiskey at the age of 13. My parents were like, yo, let's put some whiskey in front of him. We'll see how he reacts to it. And they're like, go ahead, 13-year-old. Because I'm the eldest son, so they had to experiment with somebody. And I was like, ugh, well, it's not that bad. And they both kind of looked at each other and they were like, oh no. What have we started? And since then, I've been a, an avid liquor, liqueur kind of guy, as opposed to the beers. There's always been some of that stuff in the refrigerator downstairs. And and funny story, too. In my sophomore year of high school, I had the opportunity of going to Europe and traveling across a couple of different countries over there. It's a lot easier to get to different countries over than the, U, the, the UK. Not the UK, sorry, Europe, because they're so much closer to each other. And so we went on a little singing tour, and it was great. And in one of the places we went, I want to say it was either Germany or Austria. All I know is the show that we watched was The Guys with Thighs. 
And it was a bunch of very, very buff men who were wearing Lederhosen and did indeed have thighs to speak of. And so one of the things that the guys of thigh, the guys with thighs did is they would have the big old log up there and they would all cut it together like lumberjacks and they made a big show out of it. But that was that was cool. But what was cooler was taking the high schoolers anywhere from 15 to 18 years of old age to come up on stage and partake in some apple juice with them. We would all, they all gave us little, little, little glasses. They, I don't know what they were called at the time, but they were little glasses that looked so easy to like take a sip from. And so the, we all locked arms together with the guys with thighs. What a, what a, what an experience. And I was up there on the stage. I really enjoyed myself. And we all took the shots of what I knew right away was not apple juice at all. That was fire water, straight up fire water, which is just really, really high proof alcohol of sorts. I believe it's usually a grain spirit too, kind of like moonshine but i could be incorrect in saying that and so we took those and i went back to my seat and i was feeling pretty good at that point and my friends who i had tra been traveling with were like everyone was wincing up there it was hilarious to watch i was like yeah yeah we all kind of cringe at that you know it's powerful alcohol and stuff like that I'm like no, no 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 we weren't we weren't talking about you 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 didn't you didn't flinch up there or at least that's how i like to remember it i was like well i don't know maybe i liked it or anything I've never been to France before, no, uh, but at some point in my life, I will go. My fiancé is a huge Disney nerd for Disney, so we want to be able to go to all the little Disney parks, and the big Disney parks, I didn't mean to exclude by that, and one of them happens to be in France, Euro Disney, so we plan on going there eventually, but the places that I went to for that particular trip, we went to Belgium, Austria, Germany, Switzerland, and the northern part of Italy, and I don't think I'm forgetting anything, but that was... That was a time. It was a really, really fun time. I thoroughly enjoyed that, but I'd love to go to France one day. I would love to try to do a little wine tour of France, because they like to talk about their terroir and everything that that makes their wine super wonderful. What makes their wine super wonderful, I think, it, regardless of the taste, is the fact that there are such stringent limitations on, like, like the country takes... The country takes wine so seriously, and I think that's really something to admire. Seriously, do they all speak French? Ha! <laughs> wow. Clearly I didn't pay enough to go on that trip. Or rather, my parents didn't pay enough to go on- to, to send me on that trip, so. My friends and I from that trip wanted to do like a five-year anniversary thing. And I think that's coming up- No, 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 ten-year anniversary. Ten year? Five years have already passed. Ten-year anniversary. We got like three or four years left on that, so. We'll get to that eventually. And I who's it? Yes, you do. Anyway, let's get to work. I'm gonna be late to work. Not me, Jill. Jill's gonna be late to work. Anyway. You're in for some narration, if that's what you're into. If you're not into it, that's cool. And if you're into it, just be into it. Hmm. <clears throat> let's get started. Good evening, Gil. Oh, hey guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key. Remember... Wait, that's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving so many days without notice. <sighs> See, Jill? He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key just never arose. Sure, I'll take that. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. Hmm. What, are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass, but remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave you like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. So you were worried. Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I just... I don't know. Shut up. She's right, though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check out the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine. Fine. Hey, boss. Why'd you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I, I couldn't find it on myself to take it. 
Why? Partly because I, I didn't feel right taking it. But mostly because I thought you'd totally look cute with it. I... Uh, I see. Don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours, it's just... Preserving cuteness is one of my principles. <laughs> right, right. Are you still worried about the whole bar closure thing? Of course I am. Not like I can't work because of it, but, you know. All we can do is enjoy whatever time we have left here as best as we can. Yeah. So cheer up. Clients smell sadness and fear, and we don't want that. I'll go to my office. All right. Okay. Gotcha. Antenna's fine. Did I miss anything? Not really. No. Anyways, let's start the day. Jukebox 3, 2069. I feel no need to change things. But. Green drink check. Alright. It's time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh yeah, Gil. Hmm. Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Excuse me. Um... Looking for Dana Zane? May I have your name? Tell her it's... It's Brian. Just a sec. Boss! Some Brian guys looking for you! Tell him I'll be there in a bit! Sh she'll... Yep, yeah, you heard her. It's alright, I... Oh, wait. It's... It's weird for someone to come asking for her, though. It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. To answer that question, Max, I would love to try the Zen Star from this game, because it combines all of these things together in equal parts, and they say it's disgusting. But because it says it's disgusting, I'd love to give it a shot. Yeah. I guess that's... Mm. Um. I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. <laughs> don't don't worry. I I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position. Anyways, handle me like I'm just another client. All right, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. Sugar rush, please. Coming right up. Sugar rush. Yeah, we can do that. We can do the sugar rush. It's sweet. It's sugar. It's rushed. I really want to get the regional manager drunk. So I'm going to do that. I want to see what happens when you get him drunk. I don't think I saw him in my last playthrough. I don't think I did. Optional. Karma train means maxing it out. Yes. All mixed. The sugar rush. Oh, baby. Let's get the regional manager drunk. In my first playthrough, I tried to go as to the book as possible because I wanted to I wanted to be like you know I want to get like achievements and the good ending and whatnot and if you couldn't tell by the cover to the, to the title screen I did indeed get the good ending because I got my spoiler alert cover your ears if you don't want to hear but on the on the title screen I've got my ex-girlfriend's younger sister alongside me because there was a big moment there and it was, it was beautiful and heartfelt and anyway let's get this guy plastered there you go, buddy. Here. Have fun with that. Yeah. Oh, this... This one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? They're... They're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. They're the most basic thing, but... People can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that... You only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is... It's not bright. Huh. You never told me that. You're... You're Jill, right? Yep. That's... That's me. Dana's talked quite a bit about you. Really? I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Mostly concerning the closure warning Valhalla got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. 
got him a little drunk to share all of his secrets. He doesn't look drunk. But if I turn on the scan lines... Ooh. Ooh, he looks tipsy. Don't mention it. Now, where to start? You saw the... I don't like the scan lines. Not for now. Not for now. You saw the news on the information leak during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? About the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organizations in their ranks? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw that. Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. The BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At, at least not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Although, it takes a bit of time to set up a, it is apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. And where does Valhalla come in? Young bars are the ones under the radar right now, and the modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla. Any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales. Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every single year. Hmm. You'll find out soon enough. Huh. Sorry? Oh, nothing. Don't don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Huh? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. Shady drinks. This is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. Nobody ever overspikes the drink at this bar. Not a single time. No complaints of that. The closest thing to a recent complaint was that whole Farmer Fabrics affair from a little while ago. So much saliva. I wouldn't get my hopes up, though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Oh, yeah. The suplex. Give me one of those, please. Sure. I'll give you a suplex, all right. Right in your liver! I don't know exactly what position a suplex involves. I don't know if you have to, like, grab him by, like, the neck or... I don't know. Jab him. But I'm sure the jab will be very similar to how it feels to have one of these. And, oh boy. It gets bigger. Does it? It does. It totally gets bigger. Yes. For those who are not familiar, only the karma tree in this game calls alcoholness. Alcoholicness? Anyway, it's on the rocks. It's mixed. It's that simple. The suplex. Swap! Here you go, Mr. Brian. The registry form said this was an accident while making a pile driver. You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Ah, so you're Robert. Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. Jill called you Gil, though. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's Argentinian slang. R R Robert here is from Argentina, so we called him Gil because it's Argentinian slang for Robert. Huh. I see. Sorry, Brian. I, I was sorting some stuff at the office. Please, please, come on in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Not really. No. Not at all. Oh, although... Yeah. If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of the correct orders. Top-notch bartender. Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me... 
I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Ah, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Um, Jill, was it? What was her voice for Stella? I don't know. I'm going with it. Um, Jill, was it? Ah, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Hmm. Are you okay? Yeah, um, just call me Stella and get me a big beer, please. Hmm, yep, yeah, sure, right on it. She wants a beer. I think that's one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. Mix, and that's it. No, that's incorrect. What did I do wrong? Let's see. I'm usually pretty good with the beer. Oh, okay, I had to have things and add the alcohol. That's it. One, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four. The mix, the serve. You don't need to get drunk today. Forgot the karma train. You're damn right I did, Max. You're damn right. Bad Cameron. Don't forget the alcohol. That's what they come here for. Are you sure you're fine? Hmm. You know, say, right? Of course, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during that whole affair and... Oh. Right. That. So she... She didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you've seen her? As much as I'd love to say that I had... Yeah, I... I figured as much. Man, the air is suddenly a lot heavier. I mean, I could tell her everything will be alright, but... That would sound a bit... Condescending. Hmm. What is one doing in this kind of situation? Maybe a joke. No, no, that, that'd be tasteless at a time like this. Okay, just try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be better. Enough, perhaps. I don't think clearly when under this kind of pressure, do I? Uh, there was a private eye here the other day. I. Sorry, I'm a bit on edge. A private detective, I take it? Yeah, maybe you'll want his services. What's his name? I believe it was Art. Van... No, Van... Van Delay? Oh, that Art guy, yeah. Actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. So you still have hope? I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now, and I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I, I believe he'll give me answers about, say, whatever, whatever that might be. Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, no, sorry. It's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now I can't find my any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. I'm glad to know you had that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet. Then I'll help me calm down a bit. Gladly. I believe she has a favorite drink. But to be honest... No, she likes the Brantini. That's what I remember. I believe it's the Brantini. Totally not the Martini. Definitely not the Martini. But the Brantini. Here you go. Thanks. Seems you really like Say. I I don't have 
brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So, Say's more than a friend to me. She's... She's... Um... Sorry, I brought that topic up at a really bad time. <clears throat> eh, don't worry about it. As, as I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I say she's like my sister, but I, siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But with Say, I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all of my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar, making other people do that job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. I... Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. <laughs> I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? Like, I'm gonna take my break, and you could use some. Well, it, for a given value of... fresh. I'm, I'm fine, thanks. Okay, then. Gil, please service Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. And that's vibe check. Break time. And I haven't gotten through this first one yet. It's, honestly, that is a, this was a pretty sizable pour. I was not... I was not expecting the glass to get as filled up as it does. I've never... I've not yet filled this glass to the brim before. I have another martini glass in the back that is a lot bigger, a lot taller, but uh, but it wasn't... It wasn't as weird as... What was Zambawanga? In the, in the Philippines, I think it was. Was it the Philippines? It was on Argentina. I don't remember. But anyway, I thought the little frog guy would be perfect for that. Anyway, I shan't dilly-dally more. Time to continue. Where is the last 2021? There we go. Perfect. And let's get right back to it. There's no need to take a break to make a drink, because I already got one. It's not empty yet. I have two other things that I hope to make tonight. If I have the time for it. It's like, it, I got time. I got time. God damn, is it chilly outside. And of course, to, to all those following along at home, hydrate. I left my actual water bottle in the car, and it's frozen now and at least four blocks away, so I opted for the the uh, the amusement park sippy cup. Because it's purple, and... Oh, purple's a really awesome color. Almost as cool as green. More music, more music. I, th I feel like this is a nice toned-down night, so I'm going to put this one on repeat, because I love this song in particular this was the song that i would more than likely sit around in my previous residence which i haven't if i haven't mentioned already was indeed a fraternity house not exactly five star living or four or three or anything higher than that but the company was awesome and sometimes I just kind of hung around in my room. I had the biggest room in the house. It was awesome. Pretty big TV. I could play the game on there. Crack open a beer or something. And it was just wonderful. And for a while, I had a roommate. A couple times I had a roommate. I had many roommates there. I'm back. Hey. Eh? Oh, God. What was this guy? What would a kid like you know about that, eh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. Detective guy comes in. Cat Boomer Girl greets him. They start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentions Ibatsu Core offhand. After that, the guy got riled up and started badmouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was just normal conversation. I see. While I won't deny Zaibatsu Core is anything but innocent, I, when you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, by enhanced you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks. Can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. But 
Then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know. And true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. But can you deny that the meddling of Zaibatsu Core has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration program they started is making huge advances in the AI department. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI reformation program, meaning that we're also the world's Lilum Prism. The AI went rogue, transferred the delivery drone, or shipped the glitch city. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point, although that program has proven to have reformed many AIs. They don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Uh, The city also had a stronger economy. Zabatsu Core's success has made more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just mean more people who will plant their feet on your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh, Zabatsu Core's main medical research branch has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here, we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are also many more jobs. All the companies coming down here need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Tch, shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey, you! Don't just sit there. Give me a Zen star. Sure. Make the Zen star for the sword, baby. I know that's four of everything. Da, 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 da. I don't remember if that's mixed or this or that and rocks. Don't forget the rocks. And it's mixed. And it's Zenstar. Also, also, I want to try that because it's blue. Blue's my favorite color. Or perhaps it's a shade of purple. I don't know. But, like, it looks like it's garnished with, like, a pineapple leaf or something. Or a bay leaf or something like that. I don't know. It's cool looking. That or it's a piece of shrapnel. I really can't tell from this. I, I believe it either way with this game. Here. God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? You do bring up something I've always failed to, I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to a few. I, I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, there's still a luxury belonging only to a few. And even those that can be accessed, accessed by everyone are more likely, or more like... An improvement in the bigger picture. That, that doesn't take away the bat from the fact that there have been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a, that's a pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Yeah, mature. Whatever. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday? Haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured by it. Witnesses identified it, so... It wasn't your friend that much, is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just... He just happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Well, thanks. Keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope is the last thing you'll lose. I guess. If he's telling the truth, Say might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Um... Hmm. Just get me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. 
on it. Two bad touches. I better make them before I laugh too hard. Bad touch, you know. It's sexual, probably. Ha <laughs> ha! Funny joke. Joke about sex make Cameron laugh. <laughs> it's funny, you know... I should have made you the alcoholic one. The really alcoholic one. Nah, I'm going with it. Mm, I can change that. Just kidding. You're gonna get the really alcoholic one. Because I got something against you there, Art. I do. I do. You're a fine guy. And I'm sure you're an even finer private investigator. But I am curious. We're nothing but mammals after all. Yeah, that's the... <laughs> Again, it's a dirty joke. We've been there. We've done that. It's funny. Funny, funny, teehee. Two bad touches. Hmm. I remember this party I went to. The guy that came up with the name of his drink showed up. After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for, you know, whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me, though. <laughs> Imagine a guy who shows up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Jill? I'm... <laughs> I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Really. Now, now that I think of it, did you did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? Vondelay. Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose, and she happened to be at the... Um, what? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides the last thing I'm worried about with say is people. Why's that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself, well... I once saw her take care of a warbot gone haywire by herself. She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, but she's also really good with Krav Maga and... and... Something wrong? No, n nothing. I just, I just realized I forgot all about that. Forgot about all that. Say's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. She she surely found a way out. I just I just hope she's well wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. You want another drink, Mr. Vondelay? It's it's on me. Are you sure? Yeah, uh, order away. Okay then. I have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella. I, I'm fine. Get get his order. Make us a drink. I'm a piano man. Make us a drink. Tonight. Because we're all in the mood for some libations. And I'm just... I'm just feeling alright. Mixed and... Boom! Piano man. A very beautiful gradient of blue. Here you go. This is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. All right, should get going. My contract will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I found out anything else, Miss Oshi. Please do. Right then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on Say's situation. I, I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? <laughs> Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks. This, this place is soothing. I'll just go sit over there near the arcades. All right, then. That'll be all, Dana. Quite a mess situation with, um, Robert? 
Brian, you have a meeting in an hour with MI6 Hall C. Miss 6 Hall C? Miss 6 Hall C. My 6 Hall C. Right, right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself! Ah, oh, Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here, of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, sure, no problem. Jill, we'll be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Um. This holophone is an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. I'm Jill. Um, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. <laughs> I mean, she always gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone, and I wouldn't... Then wouldn't you say it's more interesting that... <laughs> Finally hung up. <sighs> it's been quiet today. At least the streets are calm today. I have... <clears throat> Arrived yet again at the, <clears throat> oh god, the Majestic Hall of Heroes. Calm until now. We meet again, bartender. You look winded, Virgilia. It's pronounced Virgilio. No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said as much the last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing society imposes on letters. They want it to be free. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. You look winded, Virgilia. We're all little toys winded by the cruel hand of fate. Just stumbling until it decides not to wind us anymore. And yet, you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's, um, I was jogging. Dressed like that. I can jog however I want. Yes, you can. What can I get you? Something fake. Of course. Fake. Huh? One of these was fake. I do not remember which one was supposed to be fake. What would you determine to be fake, though? Something that claims to be one thing, but is in fact something completely different. What of that fits the bill? Velvet, spikes, weaver, frothy water. That seems to be pretty fake. PG Ready Sows, beer, beer, ersatz since 2040. That seems pretty fake. It says it's water. It's not water. What else have we got in the list? What else seems fake? Fluffy Dream seems rather true. Grizzly Temple, Gut Punch. That's the movie one, Grizzly Temple. Kind of unbearable. Gotcha. Acknowledged. Mars, Mercury, Moonblast. Oh, maybe it's the... One of these is the improper color. Mercury... No, maybe not. Is it Moonblast? No, okay. I was completely mistaken about that. Piano Man, Piano One, Paul Driver, mm, Sunshine Cloud, Z Plug, Sparkle Star, mm, Zen Star. I don't know. Frothy Water seems pretty fake to me. It says it's water, but it's not. But it doesn't have alcohol, so. I don't know. Here's a double. Yell at me. Tell me I'm wrong, Virgilio. Virgilio. Tell me I'm wrong. Whoa, alright. What do I do? All aged and. Next. Oh, maybe I can't do it all of that? One and that. Or did I put the wrong ingredient in it? I might have might have done that. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. It's a beer, but without alcohol. There you go. Hey, I got paid for that. And this is... Totally not beer. Ah, yes. Just as fake as I want. Nice. Say, Virgilio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes and keep it clean for the people that visit the premises. 
But lately, my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me... Stop touching the exhibits. You're gonna break them. The nervous when people. Uh, he still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Even the visitors get that. I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize that too? <laughs> yeah. I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. Okay, then. Time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want... Purity. Uh... What's purity? I... Can't give him pure ingredients, so, uh... Purity. What seems pure? That's quite the opposite of pure. Beer's pretty pure, I guess. Bleeding, bloom, cobalt, fluffy dream, something... Well, these will make your tongue feel velvety. Mm. No. No. No, that's blast. Pile drive will sparkle star, sparkle star. They used to actually sparkle. Too many complaints. Pure. Like the sparkle in a child's eye. Pure. Like a very heavily distilled spirit. Pure. Pure. How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Ah, oh, yes. Beautiful. Mm hmm. Hey, you, the guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? Can't remember, maybe? Yeah, I think. Hmm. No, 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 we haven't met. Ever. At all. That's an interesting reaction. Hmm. Hot Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks. Huh? Excuse me. Have we met somewhere before? That face. That eye. What about my eye, punk? We haven't met ever at all. Never. Ever. 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 Good talking to you, bartender. Um... Did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Really, thanks for everything. Don't mention it. It's my job. I talk. Are we done for the day? Yep, quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh shit, that Virgilio guy! So you two actually met before? Yeah, you can say that. What, what, what? Gil stuff. Don't mind it. What were you talking about, Brian? What were you talking to Brian about? Talking about to Brian. Well, we were mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while, so I, I offered him a drink when we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, oh, and I tried to, I tried to um, explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh. I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? Yes. A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? So it's a guy? An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? Yeah, 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 yeah. Must be nothing. And it was a wonderful bartending night indeed. Total earnings, 24, 10. Trinks total, 1120. Mistakes, none. I really did well with Virgilia this time. Usually don't do that. Commission, 30%. Today's payment, $336. Tips, $1,150. Flawless service bonus, 500 Brian told me to give you this. 
$500. Today's total transfer, 2486 total funds, $4,891. And a big old swig of water to uh, continue on with things. Wonderful! My electricity bill will be sent out on the 24th. Make sure that I have the $8,000 necessary to be able to pay that off. It is the 20th right now. We're doing just fine. Jill's a bit tense. Buying a shoulder massager will prevent her from being getting too distracted. I wish I had a shoulder massager right about now. That'd be pretty cool. Which one uses the shoulder massager, though? Is it this one? Nope. Oh. Perhaps the shoulder massager is the one that says shoulder massager. Sh shoulder massager. Molder massager. For those days when you've built up too much tension. No kidding. Bing. That's mine now. I bought what I wanted. Cool. Any new things in the, uh, the whatchamajiggers over here? Oh, boy. Kirin Miki's got some new stuff on her blog, so let's check that out. Dream person. I think that's the new one. I think I did thanks, Glitch City. Yes, I did. I believe. Dream car. Dream person. Jill says, I suddenly have an urge to hug her. Dream person by Miki. Every now and then, I wonder if I'll ever meet my significant other. All the stimuli from being born just three years ago and directly being thrown in this wonderful disaster that is the idol industry makes me think all the things I'm missing. Think of all the things I'm missing. Accidental love, lost love, or even the gentle touch of another person. I feel like I'm in this bubble that won't let me catch all possible feelings, and my senses get tired of the same environment. I want to meet new people, places, because even though I have a large bank of knowledge, I actually never experimented with what most consider normal. But you already know that from my songs. Cute. Well, cute. And some new articles from the Augmented Eye. Wow, that's one hell of a rant. Chill. Men prefer Christmas cakes, study reveals by Lana Smithy. For the longest time, the term Christmas cake referred to women aged 26 or above who were regarded as undesirable, just like a Christmas cake that ceases being useful after December 25th. But men around Glitch City developed a sweet tooth. Who doesn't like a mature woman? Todd, 19, told the augmented eye, they have all the necessary experience already. Plus, I'm so tired of spoiled, immature girls doing stupid shit. I say bring on the hot office, ladies. Jill, 27, is confused. Christmas what? Is that like the opposite of beefcake? After discovering the real meaning, she launched into an hour-long rant. I'll let you know, pencil skirts are the best. Alright. Alrighty then. AM Township 64, announced by Lana Smithy. New wa waifu machine? In Terrabang? Sigma and Soft just unveiled a new line of personal computers for the first time, first for the anime enthusiast market. Deep breath to speak fast. This is after several attempts at appealing to a broader audience with the Uranus game console as opposed to the Saturn, which is another planet in our solar system. Launch games have been announced as well. They include popular franchises like Monster Girl RPG, Monster Girlfriend, and Monster Companion. We're going for the weeb audience, said Keter Green 51 and Sukabon Soft Janitor. What's dignity anymore? Sukabon Soft plans to launch the AM Townships sometime next year. Wow. Didn't you play a game from those guys? Monster Girl Puzzle. Yeah. The EKDV-186 gets historic update by Lana Smithy. Weapon enthusiasts are freaking out right now over a firmware update that Makisei Heavy Industries is releasing for its EKDV-186 line of assault rifles. Full compatibility with nano camo has been announced, allowing civilian models of this weapon the use of nano camouflage and the option to customize their look for free with the help of the nano camo app. We've been using nano camo in the battlefield for a year now. Makisei's chairperson told the Augmented Eye during a phone conversation, and thanks to its flexibility, we can now sneak past the enemies using the environment to our favor. Our equipment is basically invisible with nano camo. The nano camo update will be released this month. Ah. You like guns? No, I... I don't need a penis that badly. Hehe. <laughs> it's a penis joke. Get used to it. What else have we got? Some articles on Danger You. I don't remember which ones I read. Did I read this one? Yeah, let's go for it. Danger You. Dangerous Opinions. Apollo Bank is being attacked. Thread 3. Explosion registered. And media is still quiet about it. Can't confirm there's an explosion, but it looks like it was just one of them. 
So there's more bombs. Not just one? That's right. You got any clue on who's doing this? I'm hearing from several sources that this is a group, a new one, looking to overthrow the government. No names have been mentioned, and it looks like it's uh, not a group. It's just one person who set up all this. <laughs> That's pretty ballsy. There's just a rumor around here, but Alice Rabbit might be involved. Ow. A hacker is helping out hostages to escape, and they're suspecting of Alice. <laughs> Someone doing stupid shit on the internet is being actually useful. The center's been closed. Some deep shit happened right there. Deep shit happens on Danger You. Or Reddit. Pick your poison. Apollo Bank is being attacked. Thread 4. Can't confirm. The situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from servers all around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage. It's actually pretty unsettling. Damn. The file is available from approximately 60,000 sources, terabytes that contain all operations from the Glitch City government and White Knight operations. It seems the ultimate goal from the attacker was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages towards the servers inside of the bank, which have the files under several layers of physical security. That shit sounds whack. How do you even make a plan that's complex? No idea, but that's what some of the witnesses are telling the police. Okay, looks like I have to leave, but I'll try to write down all the details for a future post. Gonna need some time, though. Godspeed and on. Thanks. Maui, with the file? No. No, I will not. Nano camo underwear! I think I'll get a pair, just to see what kind of skin I can use with them. They will nickel and dime, they will nickel and dime with the DLC. There's no way to use the skin you want. Going to get cracked day one. Maybe, but I don't think it'll be that first. But it'll be that fast. Yeah, I think I'll just wait until it's modded for custom skins. I thought the nanomachine fabric was bad for your health. Now that's just a meme. My walls are made of that thing, and I'm all right. Are the walls hacked yet? I'm going to marry Camoton. We now have underwear that can change its look. Don't you just love this future? We are truly living in the best timeline. I would if they weren't such a bunch of assholes with their business practices. Then don't buy the underwear. I won't. The thread is closed. A tad useless, unless you're a streaker. Meow. Or I got a boyfriend. Alrighty, alrighty, alright. Time to do a quick backup. See you. I'm not gonna overwrite that one, but I will overwrite this one. The only one left from 2019. Excuse me. I've got a local copy of all these saves elsewhere in case i ever want to go back to them all right and before i continue on with that i'm empty on my drink so it only makes sense to concoct up another one as a friend of mine once said hydrate or dihydrate drink water i'm not out of that yet so i'll be okay all right, the next drink that I have on my menu tonight is something called the... Excuse me a minute while I flip this page to... The Honeybee. The Honeybee and Didi. And eventually I have two cameras and it won't be as difficult to do this, but I don't yet. So please excuse the joyride as I bring my camera down to a more advantageous cocktail creating position. How's that looking? Looking all right. The Honeybee, according to the Bartender's Little Black Book, second edition compliments of my mother, who used to bartend a bit, is filling a glass with ice. Two ounces of rum, one ounce of honey, one ounce of lemon juice, or sour mix. I have lemons. I'm using lemon juice. Shaking things up and strain into a chilled glass. If you'll excuse me for just a moment while I empty this guy out. Grab some ice for this shaker over here. This looks like a small one. And to grab my chill glass, which I have in the freezer. Making my way toward the freezer. It might seem a little muffled from over here, but I think I can still be heard from across the room as I grab my ice from over here. And my chill glass. I'll scrounge around a little bit for some ice cubes. If I had a portable ice box, this would be easier. Now I've got one of those, and I've got my chilled glass. I'll make my way back over here. Chilled glass. 
iced up shaker. This one is also shaken, and it's gonna have to be. This one will be a little bit difficult though. In case I mentioned before, this one uses honey. Honey is incredibly thick. If I had planned this out farther in advance, I definitely would have made myself a honey syrup by just taking the honey, boiling it up a little bit, adding some water to it to decrease the viscosity because it's not going to mix very well. Now, the honey that I grabbed for this one is pretty good. For the purposes of this, it's not very viscous at all, and it, it runs pretty smoothly. But it's going to get thicker because I'm putting it into ice, so it's going to get a lot more viscous. I have no idea if this is going to mix properly. I don't think it will, but hopefully I get some ink from some inkling of the honey in there because I think the sweetness is probably going to measure out with the um, with the, uh, the sourness of the sour mix slash lemon juice. So I've done enough talking on that. Let's get started. It's cocktail time. All right, so for this one, I will need some sort of rum. They didn't see what kind of rum, so I opted for something that wasn't super funky, but, uh, Gosling's. I went with that one. And I didn't want to use Mount Gay twice because that's not, that's not mixing things up. I want to mix things up a bit. And plus, I feel like it's going to give an interesting color. In case the honey does mix in, it'll give a very interesting color, if it does at all, with the black rum. And that is, whoa, not two. Yes, two ounces. I'm sorry. It is two ounces. So two ounces up of that. Wish I had a better close-up setup over here. That's on the to-do list. Oop. <laughs> wow. That got all over my desk. I usually have a towel for that, and I forgot it. And I'd go over to grab another one, but I won't. It's just rum. I'm not gonna, not gonna stick or anything. It's no problem. I just need a little bit of fix that up a bit. Oop, there we go. Top things off a bit to make up for my spill. Oh, yo, he got me a towel. You are the best fiance a guy like me could ask for. Perfect. I like that. Anna, would you like to help me out with this particular beverage? It's, honey. it's the honeybee. Because you're my honey. And you're not a bee. Maybe I'll be the bee. What'd you say? Oh, is that why you picked it for me? Because because you're that my honey? And you had honey. And that and I have honey. So let's give that a shot. I don't know. Shake the honey of them. I don't think why so. Why would you shake the honey? I don't know. Why wouldn't you shake the honey? I don't know. Let's give that a shot. It's gonna come out easily, so I'm gonna do it like that, cause I can do that with this. Filling it up to, I don't know if that's gonna work. I really don't know if that's gonna work, but if I fill it up all the way, see what happens. It is still very viscous. It's slow-mo time. All right, pretty good. Sorry for that honey close-up. And I don't know. That one's fun to watch. I'm gonna give that one a really, really good shake. <laughs> it's still going. It's still going. Incredibly viscous. Oh, that one's going. Um, I don't know. Move this out of the way. So I can get a better view of the lemon that I need to cut open for this as this one continues to pour in the background. Anna, I need your help for something. Am I holding stuff? Can you just hold the lemon down as I cut it? How can I hold this? I require the... Uh... No, 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 no. Do the lemon. No, you... I'll hold this. Okie dokie. My lovely assistant will hold that, the honey, as it dribbles its way out of the jigger. As I cut this lemon over here. My goodness! I don't have my squeezer. Yes, I do. I lied. All right. Now, I just need you to flip that over for me as I squeeze some lemon into it. I'll cut off the end over here, too. Yeah, that's the side I want. One moment. Why'd you do that? Because uh, it makes it easier for me. Oh. Or at least, I think it does. I want a half an ounce of lemon juice if you want to come out, please. You want to come out for me? Yes, you do. Perfection. That's not coming out very well for me. I gotta squeeze harder. Come on, get them arm muscles working. Gotta get my arm muscles working. This is why I do pull-ups. That's not the right. That's why I do pull-ups. Really? What are you doing, pal? Yeah, you're That's just, also you're not just arm muscles. It. It's supposed to be your fingers. I just need a little bit more in there, so I'm just gonna... This lemon's been hanging in the fridge. So... Why did you have it on the side, then? What I have it on the side? Because there's not a lot of juice left in it. But there is just enough. Perfect. Perfect. All right, that's half an ounce of my lemon juice. Perfection. Uh, da -da -da -da. Well, whatever. Put that over there. Lemon juice! 
meat shaker and any other honey left in there. Oh, there's so much honey left in there. Okay, do not touch it with your fingers. That's okay. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I, it's, I'm the one drinking it. There we go. You say, as I'm going to probably take a drink of it. Man! That's interesting. Okay, and that's, that's all that goes on that one. It's got to do with a little bit of mix. Oh, it says mix and then shake. Interesting. Well, I don't see why they're doing that. Well, it says mix and then shake, implying that mixing is going to do something. Though, it doesn't... It's supposed to go glass with ice. I don't really know. I'm going to shake this one up good, because I don't think the honey's going to work very well. Does it say shake and strain? It does indeed say shake and strain. So, let's try to give the shot. I think that's shooken enough. Let's try to get it out before the honey escapes. Oh, yeah, it totally worked. Looks like someone really... It kind of looks like somebody crushed up beeswax and liquefied it. That's not what I thought at all. Oh, what does it look like to you? Does it look like urine? It looks like someone really needs to drink some water. Looks like somebody really needs to drink some water. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Somebody did a pee-pee break on camera. Disgusting. Um. You're done with this, right? What's that? Yeah, with that one. And, uh, well... Oh, I don't have a honeycomb. I don't have a honeycomb. I'd love to garnish that with a honeycomb. But I don't. So it's got lemon in it. So I'm just going to throw a wheel in there. There we go. I like that. Hmm. On top? How does it look? Ah. I'm going to drop that in there. Give a little squirrel. I present to thee the honey bee. And with that, I will put my ingredients back under... Back under the desk where they belong. What's that? Oh, honey. Thank you, honey. And put the camera back to its rightful position. Wow. Roller coaster time. There we go. That's perfect. I think that'll work just fine. And I have the honey bee, which I will get my. I will get my. Do what's it called? Flashlight ready to do a little light test on it. Trying not to blind the viewers to get something cool looking. It's not really working for this one. Nah. I don't like it. Maybe over the top? Nope. Nah, 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 nah. I don't know. It's white looking? <laughs> it looks like bright white on camera. Yeah. It's not. It's the finest ambrosia. The gods have distilled it for me into a glass. Don't anyway, me. yeah, I don't even believe myself on that one. That one wasn't convincing at all. Honey, would you like to try the honey bee? Mm -hmm. What do you got? What are your thoughts? Give me your thoughts on it. How are the milk cards coming along, by the way? Tastes oh. like rum. Tastes like rum. Well, that makes sense. It's more than half rum. I'm almost done with my muffles, but I have to go back through and complete anatomy. Woo. It's very rummy. And it is it tastes like very rum. lemony. It just tastes like and I have a feeling. Yeah. Where's that honey? Nah. I guess that honey did indeed survive. It did combine with everything. Honestly, and I knew this was gonna happen. Needs a little sweetness because the honey wasn't cooking in the way that I wanted to. So I've got some homemade citrus syrup here. I'm just gonna dribble a bit on top. Give that a bit of a. I don't know. Not a good Not idea. Good Let's take this teaspoon. Let's give that a bit of a stir. I don't know how my swizzle will taste, but... Oh, goodness, I dripped. Tea with lemon juice. Yeah, you know what? I dig that. I put honey in tea, so yeah. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be a thing. You know what would be interesting? I wonder how... I feel like this would be better as a warm drink because the honey will be a lot less viscous if it was heated up. I'll have to try that for next time. But adding a little simple syrup should make things a little... A little easier. Let's see. A little better. What do you think? Want to try it? It's still very rummy, but it's not as sour as it was before. Ew, rum! Ew, rum. Okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very particular, guys. It's That's okay. fine. I it's, don't like most alcohol. It's very particular. I don't taste the honey very much in there, probably because of the whole physics. Things getting cold, things getting viscous. You know, also, physics. Also, half of it's in the shaker. That stuff. Is half of it in the shaker? <laughs> yeah. No, bring the shaker back! Bring the shaker back! 
I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. I should have made honey syrup before this. I'll have to update it's that for next time. Bottom. Is it really? It <sighs> Just put some honey in the container and it's like, okay. swirl it. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, if it gets cold, it's gonna become more viscous. Yeah, that's I'm gonna drizzle it on the lemon wheel. There we go. Now it can't sink to the bottom. It has to go through the lemon peel for no stop. Please, please stop. There we go. I don't know if that's in there now. I will clean that up later. And the lemon has sunk. Or it's trying to. Incredible. I love it. I don't know, you know? Let's try it again. There's a little... Where's the side that I dripped honey on? There you are. Now let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, if I did the honey correctly, that would have been great. It's not that... It's not bad, though. I'm a man who sees it through to the end. So, my self-criticism. Uh, yeah, don't do it cold next time, or I'm gonna... I might regret it. Could have been done so much better. That's the thing about this world. You just gotta learn from your past mistakes. It's fine. It's fine. You live and you learn. And I got notes for next time. I keep, I keep detailed notes of everything I make in case I ever want to go back to it. So, that's what I'm doing with it. Move my keyboard back into place. I resume the position. My hands are a little sticky, but honestly, that'll help my ring from flying off my finger. All right. Let's go back to the action, shall we? And now we're back to the action. We shall. And we're going to go to work. Work yet again, as I continue to clear up my desk over here. Good evening. Uh, hello, Jill. And Matt Cage. I, um, brought my cat. Your cat? Did I hear Yusunori Kato is in the butt? Bring me that bastard. I'll give him the fist of justice. I'll make him eat the Kanto earthquake. I'll borrow his cap. Wait. Question, where's my orange juice? Your orange juice is over here underneath the desk. Why would you steal my orange juice? And I Whoa! I present to you your orange juice. Here you go. Anyway. Sorry, guys. Wait. There are no evil on Miyoji here? Boss. <laughs> what the fuck? That's Didn't you say you brought is. Kato to the bar? My cat. Cat. Well, that's even better. Hey, Four. So cute. Why did you bring him? I heard some apartments in my building were being raided. I, I, I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know. So I'd rather have him here, at least today. Ah, oh, well, I'd say something about the health regulations, but we already had a pack of corgis here. Do you want me to take care of him in my office? Please. Sure, but he's a bit shy, so... All right, Four, let's go to my office. And I didn't think she heard me. Say, Gil, how do you always come so early? I live close by. Really? Yep. Chief got me a small apartment nearby. Something about the BTC housing program. Oh, yeah, I got mine through that, too. Anyways. Let's start. We are beginning yet. With no changes to the jukebox, because, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's time to mix drinks and change lives. I will longingly stare at my fiance until she stares back at me. So long, lovely. Don't touch my orange juice. Pay no attention to the woman behind the man narrating in front of you. Yo! What's up? Uh, lady, did you hear me? A dog. Another dog? Hey, uh, not just another dog. Hey, where's the part-timer? So you're the part-timer? Yeah! Boss, I'm taking my break. It's too early. Shit. The part-timer is here. 
Oh, he came early. Why a dog? Why? 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 It had to be a dog. Because look at him! He has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. And he's a Shiba, not a Corgi. I don't know what you're complaining about. They all look the same to me. Granted, Shibas could be seen as the Japanese counterpart to Corgis. They're both funny looking and dogs used by the royalty. Anyways, starting today, this dog will help around here. My name is... It doesn't matter what your name is. Boss, please don't shout. Sorry. Just call him Rad Sheba. Why Rad Sheba? What part of Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses don't you get? He's the raddest thing here. Thanks. Appreciates that. Anyways, he will mostly help getting he'll mostly help getting orders, bringing clients in and cleaning, but he ought to know how things work. Cleaning? <laughs> That'd be a change of pace. He'll act like a client and see how you work. Um, right. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. You okay? Yeah, just a couple of post-traumatic flashbacks. Coming right up. The dog wants the grizzly temple. The deja vu is hurting. It hurts me considerably. The grizzly temple, not unlike the Shirley temple, except a lot hairier, a lot browner, and preferring the cold and hibernation as opposed to running in the fields and singing at the top of her lungs. Very similar. I, I understand the confusion, but there's an important difference. Man, I want to see what the dog gets like when he's drunk. Yeah! Drunk dogs! Drunk dogs, right? <laughs> dogs drinking alcohol? Like, no. It's terrible. Don't have, don't give your dogs alcohol. It's terrible. Just let them live their lives. They're innocent. Don't subject them to the sins of us. They don't need to experience that. Oh, it doesn't need ice. I clicked ice. Whoops. <laughs> A little whoops. All that there, only for me to screw it up. Tremble, little corgi man. You're not as rad as you were at the start. And it was just my fault. That's it. I really, I really, really screwed it up this time. The Grizzly Temple, a double. Here you go. Wow, this is awful! People actually pay for this shit? Hard to believe. I know. So... It brings a dog like you to take it apart to our job here. I'm here to help the funding of my organization. Are you with the CFR Tour Company? Wait, what? No, no, don't, don't, don't lump me with those hurting supremacists. I have a more noble and benign organization. organization. I belong to Sierra. Sierra. Canine Independent Rescue Association. We give a place where dogs can be dogs and save them from themselves. This dog, am I right? Sierra is what we love, but damn, is it expensive sometimes. We decided to take part-time jobs to help fund everything it needs. We want to help Sierra to be the best it can be. What do you do at Sierra? Pay treatment for hurt dogs, give food to the hungry ones, play with the bored ones. We are there for everyone. Oh, that actually sounds quite nice. Like, really nice. Say, do you have a menu? Sub to like that? Yeah. Here. Now, let's see. Any recommendations? Avoid the part with Primo drinks. Oh, the Grizzly Temple is one of those. Fluffy Dream. I like the sound of that one. 
Coming right up. Now the dog wants a fluffy dream. Dog wants a fluffy dream. Get him a fluffy dream. Dog wanting a fluffy dream. Dog is drinking alcohol. Jeez. He's wearing a Hawaiian shirt. He's got sunglasses. Indoors. Why is he wearing sunglasses indoors? It's a bar. It's it's like it's dark enough in here. Dog wants a fluffy dream. Fluffy dream. Well, this one's nice. So why did you pick a bar? Seems fun. I didn't need that many weird skills to be part of this, so it was my best bet. Besides, it's close to home, so I can get here by walking. And I do love me some walks. I can walk all day. Weird skills? Yeah, stuff like food handler certificate, previous work experience, with films. Why did you pick a bar? Uh, well, uh, on a whim too, I guess. I wanted a place where I could see people come and go all the time. And bartending sounded a bit more glamorous than just being a stork work. Clock. Oh yeah, yeah, about the way you mix stuff. Yeah? Is it? I, hey, I, it's a cat. A cat. Hey, Four, weren't you in boss's office? Hello, cat. Want to play? Let's play. Hmm. Didn't dogs hate cats or something? They don't hate them, they, unless they're intruders. Huh. You said his name was Four? Hello, Four. Let's play. No playing allowed. You'll make a mess. Four, go back to boss's office, please. Meow. That's one obedient cat. My pride. You want something else? Yeah, I'll talk with John Face here for a bit. Eh? All right. <sighs> I shouldn't get riled up so easily by dogs, but I'm just tired, I guess. Hello, Jill. Ah, uh, that, that voice, voice. So, uh, what happened to you? Nice seeing you too. Well, I fell from a really tall place to a really rough spot. Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance or something? I just got out of one. Don't worry. How did you manage to slip out of mobs lynching white knights? It was a bit rough. Luckily, these bandages helped me conceal my identity. <laughs> Why come straight here? Ah... Uh... The ambulance where I got treatment couldn't stray too far away from the hospital. They're nice people. I've, I've talked to them a lot while on rescue duties. I was nearby, and yours was the closest friendly face I could find. I needed to regain my composure before doing anything else, so... Here I am. Um, if you're scared because they might come for me, I can, I can leave, you know. The security systems of the bar are top-notch, and my boss is also the bouncer of sorts here. I'd say you're actually safer here, so I'm not worried about me. Instead, I'm worried about you. First, I hear you were at the bank, then I found out you disappeared, and now you show up with all those bandages. Are you fine? What happened at the bank exactly? Did you talk with Stella? She was worried sick about you. So sorry, so now, please, slow down a bit. The medications make me feel everything more intensely. It's, it's almost like a hangover. <sighs> sorry. Sorry. It's nice to know someone like a bartender was worried about me, though. Thanks. Everyone I know has been ignoring me, so... I was feeling lonely. Why would they? Well, you've seen the lynches they give to any white knight they find. By ignoring me, they, they're actually saving me from getting kicked to death. My good deeds finally paid off, I guess. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Um, something sweet. No, no alcohol. Thank God these pants still had my wallet in them. Oh no, I, I couldn't, I couldn't take your money right now. It's, it's on the, Jill, please. I, I want to pay for my drinks. I take it I won't be able to change your mind. I mean, yes, 
I mean, I, you won't be able to change my mind. Sweet and no alcohol, right? Coming right up. She seems to be in a bit of pain. Something sweet. No alcohol. No alcohol? No problem. You don't want alcohol in your drink? Ask for it virgin. Ask for it without. Absolutely no problem there. And, uh, it's on the house, so... Nothing wrong with virgin cocktails. Mocktails, if you will. They're incredibly great, too. There's a lot of flavor to be found in things that don't have alcohol. Who knew? Careful. Yay! This will help me calm down a bit. So, what happened to you? Where did you fall from? I was escaping the place near the end of the whole thing, and I had to make a leap of faith. I've, I've jumped from higher places, but I... Landed badly there. Most of my injuries are actually from some debris that fell on me. Oh, but my broken arm is actually from the fall. How? I rolled to mitigate the fall, but I made a bad move and broke it. Good thing I drink lots of milk. Hmm. I was under rubble for quite a bit, but luckily someone found me. Someone? I woke up in the hospital. They told me some guy brought me here. I don't know who he was, but I own my life. What? N uh, nothing. You just sound um, sound cheerful. <laughs> I'm alive. Why wouldn't I be? After all, that happened at the bank. Here I am talking to you. Being able to talk and all. Don't think too much about it. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Ow, oh, wow. Ow. Um. How were things around here? I, I heard there was a huge commotion when the whole thing happened. I had to sleep here in the bar on Saturday, but I guess it could have been worse. Glad to know that. Did, did you contact Stella? She was on the verge of despair yesterday. Mm, uh. Hey, Jill. I want another drink. I, uh, a bleeding Jane. Okay. Sh should I... Should I give her a Bleeding Jane, though? Seems like she's in pain. But it's fine. It's got no alcohol in it. That's fine. No Karma Train. That's okay. I'm sure it'll treat her well. Say the name of this drink three times in front of a mirror and you'll... Look like a fool. Jane's not coming. The Bleed Jane. Here. Ch cheers! Ugh. So, how are things inside the bank? <coughs> <coughs> come, come again? What happened inside the bank? How did you manage to get through it? <coughs> um, I was just with this nice bunch of people. Well, I, they were... Apparently nice, at the very least. We tried our best to find a way out of the whole thing, crack up the security, find six spots, but then... Um... Sorry for asking all that. It was obviously over the line a bit. No, don't, don't worry about it. It's just the, the analgesics still numbing me. I'll take my leave now. Thanks for everything, Jill. You all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm out of here. Going. That girl saw some awful things inside that bank. The sight of desperate people stuck in one building is... Not to scar anyone. Maybe I shouldn't have said all that. I mean, if it's true that she just woke up and ended up here... I don't know. I feel like I was being too pushy. That's not something I can measure. You were just worried. I bet she's just still in shock. Yeah. Um. Gil. Want me to make sure she's fine on her way? Please. Alright. I'll go and take my break now. Da. Da na 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 na. 
And on that note, I'm going to take a quick break as well. Don't go anywhere. Or do. Totally your choice. I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, enjoy these parrots.
Welcome back, party people. The water has been refilled. It's time to get back to it. So, let us continue. Lettuce. Let us continue. Lettuce, you know, like the vegetable. Eh, it's, it's not a good joke. It's a bad pun. It's a bad pun. I, I won't say it again. Too much heavy stuff lately. Way too much. People getting hurt. Talking about corporations. It's crazy. It's crazy where we live in, man. Whew. Well, I hope everything goes all right. Ah, hey, Jamie. Uh, Jamie. Ah, Jill. Gillian isn't here, I see. You all right? You look distracted. I'm fine. Don't don't worry about me. If you say so. Jill! Wh where do I take four of these to use the bathroom? The cage has a small litter box included. Ooh, that's convenient. Four? Four is my cat. Some apartments in my building are being inspected today. So I brought them to work in case they enter my place while I'm gone. Ah, I see. I see. What can I get you? The usual gut punch. Coming right up. A gut punch. Excuse me. Wow, that was a, that was a lot. <laughs> gut punch for Jamie. Whatever I'm having is giving me a gut punch right now. Fibronson Flannergeed. Optional? He's a tough guy. Tough guy don't need alcohol. He's doing fine. He's doing fine. He's doing just fine tonight. He seems like he's got a lot of stuff on his mind, so let's give it to him. Here. Thought when someone ordered a gut punch, you had to make a joke. It, about giving the client a punch to the stomach or something. Oh, that. Well, in theory, yeah. Gil's the only one that pays attention to that, though. Really? He didn't receive proper training. He read an old manual my boss had. There was some sort of stipulation mentioning the need to say puns like let us return to the stream. But seems like it was some sort of anti-counterfeit measure. I mean, if they copied such a silly stipulation, they'd be caught in the act. Like when the dictionaries added fake words to spot if someone else just Copied all of it. Yeah. Yep. Why not tell him that? It's too amusing, to be honest. So what's on your mind that's distracting you so much? Nothing you should think about too much. It's like those times you just feel uneasy for no good reason. You might have actual reasons to feel that way, though. Kind of think of it. Mercenary is quite the uncommon occupation, wouldn't you say? I like to see what I do as bounty hunting, actually. How so? The only jobs I don't take are those where I have to deal with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. There's some people willing to pay it all, pay to off someone that has done no wrong at all. Things like killing someone that owns a house in the way of some building or a nosy reporter. I'm not better for turning a blind eye to such requests, but... I'm not going to be the one dealing with those. The bounty hunter part comes where? If I'm sent to kill someone that has done something like stealing or killing and I get paid for it, you could see it as bounty hunting. Yeah, I guess. It's just cheap justifications for killing people, though. In, in the end, the cheap... However, I won't be one to kill for petty reasons like those. But, please, let's change the subject here. I'll have something bitter if you don't mind. Oh, no, sure. Jamie asked for something bitter. That's a tad too broad a category. Maybe something manly would be better. How about something bitter and manly? Like a suplex for our main man, Jamie, here. Getting to the ring and... And kill some people. That's our Jamie. On the rocks. Give it a mix. There you go. You suplex. There you go. 
Ah, uh, yes. You just reminded me of my grandpa. He used to eat Bronson roots every afternoon. He said they made him stronger. Bronson roots have more nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements. Your grandpa knew what he was doing. It, it seems I always managed to make you uncomfortable, Jill. I'm sorry. Oh, no, don't worry. Although, I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my head around the whole taking a human life thing. Knowing you've killed people and now talking to me here, it's... It's weird. It reminds me of when I first took sex ed classes. I, I couldn't wrap my mind around people doing that stuff and living normally. Unlike with sex ed, it's better that you stay that way, mind you. Taking lives is not something you should get used to. I, yes, I, I know a good way to change the subject a bit. Would you like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in the city? <laughs> the way you said that was like offering a tale to a bored kid. But, yeah, I'd like to hear that one. You see, there was actually a bounty hunter organization in the city not too long ago. Law enforcement would put a price on a dangerous person's head and pay for the proof of the person's death. There was a guy everyone called Jet Black James. He got the nickname because he always wore black clothes. The interesting thing was that the black clothes were there to hide bloodstains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top-notch, his information network was the best. Some even joked he would finish the bounty within half an hour or he wouldn't take the reward. <laughs> it was too good. In fact, at one point, he took all bounties, didn't take a single reward. He was just that crazy by then. The last bounty that the organization ever posted was on James's head. The police had him cornered. His last words were, Set it all on my account! Before shooting himself. Damn. Why hasn't that been made into a movie? So, there were no more bounties after that. The registered bounty hunter was charged with many counts of manslaughter using his old targets as proof. If someone else tried to recreate the organization, the seed of doubt would grow a little to no time. A guarantee is there that such an organization wouldn't actually be a trap. They could use the registered bounty hunters to take care of the most bothersome criminals and then dispose of the bounty hunters by pressing charges using their targets as evidence. So, uh, no. Jit Black James made sure that no law enforcement organization is able to set up bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works independently. Were you part of that organization? I actually had those... Suspicions I'm telling you about since the day I heard such a thing exists. Glad to know uh, I wasn't just paranoid. I don't know how well you changed the subject, but that was certainly one interesting story. Just to make sure, you're not a rebuilt Jet Black James or something, right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. Besides, if, if I remember correctly, his real name was actually Theodore. Oh. That story left my throat a bit dry. <clears throat> Give me a beer, please. Sure. One beer coming right up. One, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four. Give it a mix. Beer. Bam. Here you go. One of mankind's oldest friends. Cheers. One obvious thing. I see is that you don't take the use of the word kill in your stride the way Gillian does. I'm not good with violence. That's good. It's it's interesting though. When I compare you two, it's obvious Gillian has been has seen quite the share of traumatic stuff. That guy's a handful because of that sometimes. Still, he's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Where where is he, by the way? I asked him to keep an eye on a girl that came here earlier. I feel that if something happened, he could resolve the situation. His nose must be itching after we talk so much about him. Yeah, maybe. 
Well, I've got to go. Send my regards to your boss, Nigelium. Will do. Man, today has been quite heavy. Everyone waits. If I say it out loud, I feel like that'll just tempt fate. But let's try it anyways. Everyone has just been gloomy face after gloomy face. And that dog. Sure hope the next client changes that. You still work here? I knew it! Uh, hmm. I mean, quite the surprise to see you here again, Mr. Ingram. Good on my job. Need a drink badly. Remember this crack house was nearby. What can I get you then? I have a bleeding Jane. On it. Ingram wants a bleeding Jane. And it's a bleeding Jane he's gonna get. Um. Nah, I somehow I feel for this guy. I'm not gonna make it big. I don't. I don't need his money. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Blended mix. I don't know. It's. I was gonna say. Usually I try to shake something when I. Shake a shake a shake a shake a shake. Nope, that actually got water everywhere. Hmm. Guess I won't be doing that again. The Bleeding Jane here. Whoops. Tastes just like the pasta sauce my mom used to make. Watered down. Artificial. Nasty. So where do you work, Mr. Ingram? I don't have a specific job, but there's this, well, network of engineers in need of assistance. I have no idea what they do there, but I can follow instructions, and that's all they need. Recently, I've been working with this Celia girl, working on some experimental power suits. My only duty is to give them maintenance once a day. What's that about a network? All the nerds know each other, and they recommend me. I don't ask questions, and quickly learn to do whatever they need. Hmm. Sounds nice. Pretty monotonous at times, though. Why are you giving me that look? You're just <laughs> more cheerful than the last time you came. We all have good days and bad days. Today just so happens to be a not bad day. Besides, with everyone scared shitless in their houses, the streets are clear with no traffic jams it's always a plus I guess it almost became a bad day though thanks to some teens on the way over here what do they do it's, it's not what they did it's what they said they were talking about how they should just go to Zabatsu Corps HQ and blow it up seeing one too many kids throwing down that let's kill the king attitude when it Comes to Zabatsu Corp. Even if Zabatsu Corp's building suddenly went down, the ones behind it would still be alive. Killing the head honcho just means his or her duties go to the next rim jobber on the totem. Hell, I bet they're plotting to kill each other anyways. Because these days, see too many action films where the rebels save the day by killing the evil corporation. Well, don't let it get to you. I don't. Just hate teenagers. It's interesting, though. A big corporation in control is somehow more dangerous than a regular government. I wouldn't know. I'm not a political person. <laughs> no shit. All right. Give me a Zen star. Try not to mess it up. Coming right up. He wants a Zen star. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, and three, and four. Was that blended? I want to say it was blended. Whoops! Alright, it wasn't blended. Zen star, it's rocks and mixed. Gotcha. 
one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two three four one two three four one two three four ice mix there here you go pal yeah just as nasty as i've heard why order it then not your problem So where's the red comet? My boss? She's uh Jill, force headed your way. Let's play, four! Let's play! Oh, a customer! Sorry for the intrusion. You have a dog here? And a cat. Well, the cat's mine. His name's Four. The dog just hangs around here. He looks well groomed. His fur looks healthy. Seems you take good care of him. You seem to know a lot about cats. No, that's just common sense. Do you like cats, Mr. Ingram? I don't dislike them, if that's the question you're asking. But I do dislike having animals near me when I'm eating or drinking. So, I'll take my leave. Please come again. Don't count on it. You said that last time. Congratulations, you scared a client off. Four is as guilty as me. Yeah, but I like four. He's my baby. Now go, play or something. Right. Ah. You're back. What happened with Say? That cat boober girl picked her up. Couldn't see anything, but guess she was happy. I'm really glad to hear that. Did I miss something? Only Jamie and some other guy came. I see. You look exhausted. Yesterday was filled with people carrying heavy emotional baggage. I, I don't mind it, but dealing with them... Tired me out a little bit. I actually found myself wanting Dorothy to burst out that door at any moment. So you miss Dorothy? Kinda. Uh, but anyway, no nothing a good night of sleep can't fix. Let's just uh, wrap things up around here and call it a day. Alright, results, total earnings... $22,200. Drinks total $1,690. Mistakes none. Commission 30%. Today's payment $507. Tips $100. Flawless service payment on is $500. Playing with your cat was really fun. Boss's bonus of $300. Today's total transfer was $1,407 with a total funds count of $5,698. I should definitely have enough for the rent by the end of the month or mid-month. By Christmas. Your electricity bill will be sent to you on the 24th. Please make sure you have the $8,000 $8, necessary. Jill bought what she wanted. She's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Four. Mind the hairballs. Man, you love bigger ones in the shower. Yuck. There's an entire layer of honey just like coagulated on the bottom of this glass. And I'm pretty sure it's all over the lemon, too. Honey-coated lemon. Honestly? Not too bad at all. Let's read the periodicals. Um, we got a couple of new ones. Um, how did I, what kind of stuff do I got for the Nano Camo app? Can I customize my... I want to customize my wall. I'm a different wall. Got anything plaid? And of course, they have the stripes. Mm. Rad? I want to be able to pay my rent, so I'm going to skip on it for now. Let's see. Danger you. Dun 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 dun. New tag, then okay, I'm underwear. Oh, only one that's new. AM Townships. 64. That's the game. What? Literally no games. Is anyone else tired of this Monster Girl meme? No. No! No. I 
I'm gonna marry a monster girl. I just want actual gameplay next time. Why would you want a gameplay in a suke? Why would you want gameplay in a suke bond game? I don't know. All I see is pretty girls with nothing to back it up. Any info on the hardware? It's probably going to be yet another underpowered piece of shit. It's like the competition is any better. Nah, I think I'll just quit gaming. Nothing but trash as of late. Yeah, I remember when games were actually good and devs made them with loving care. Me neither. Studio's closed. Well, I gotta buy one? It depends on the library. Funny, because Sukibon is the company who makes this game. This game, not the game console in the game, but technically they did because they programmed the game or... Eh, whatever, you know. The Augmented Eye. All of them. All right, cool. <clears throat> you take a big old swig of water for that one. Monster Girlfriend Chirari becomes the best-selling video game of all time by Lana Smithy. The waifu revolution from the 2010s is no longer a laughing matter. What started as a trend has since gone out of control since the standardization of VR technology which allows people to live full-time inside of their computers. As a result of this craze, it shouldn't be a huge surprise to know that the popular Monster Girlfriend franchise has become a commercial juggernaut with millions of copies shipped in Glitch City alone. Worldwide, the game has shipped nearly 90 million copies since its launch in March, making it a record holder that won't quit. Is the waifu age real? Well... There's your answer. Mario, you want to play that game? Want that game? Anime games are stupid. New ones, at least. Yeah, anime games are stupid. That's why I play Valhalla. Quincy, I certainly like fried chicken. By Alana Smithy. During our weekly interview with Prime Conductor Quincy, he revealed his unusual taste for a certain rare food. Fried chicken. I know it sounds a bit rude to say I like something most people don't have access to, but I just can't deny my love for it. When you taste the chicken breasts like the ones that Kenta make, you just can't go back. Quincy declared to the augmented eye. In other news, Quincy also confessed his desire to ban instant food, although he later said it was in jest. I wouldn't ban instant food since that's what people in this city like the most, and even though I hate it, no. I wouldn't ban it. Wow, is fried chicken that rare? Uh, pretty sure the old ones sold are just fried pigeons. Tasty. Soccer popularity sinks as pro wrestling rises by Alana Smithy. Once known as the king of the sport, soccer is no longer even a shadow of its former self. After the corruption scandals of the last World Cup, fans have begun drifting towards the theatrical magic of the pro wrestling industry. The latest GSC, GSF tournament pulled nearly 20 million viewers from Glitch City alone. As of this moment, fans seem to be vastly favoring pro wrestling. It's easy to, to follow something we know is predetermined as opposed to something that pretends to be a legit sport. Set a fan outside the GSF arena. People kicking the balls, bored as shit too. Wow, but I like soccer. And because of that, you're castrated. Who the cat is castrated? Castrated? Castrated. The world may never know. Let's take a quick save. Next one in 2021. Boop. That's the one. This gets confusing. It lines up too well. It lines up too well. Alrighty then. Well, uh, it appears I have finished yet another drink. So what I'm going to do is click that button. Snap. I snap. See? And it changed the view. And I will make my final cocktail for the night which excuse me is somewhere in this ledger i think somewhere where was it oh there you are the little page is down there over there over here there we go the other one that i have is a john collins a derivative of the tom or juan collins it just changes out the liquor that you have for something different whereas a tom collins i believe is with gin a juan collins would be with tequila the john collins is with well whiskey and i've got some whiskey prep for the job roller coaster warning here we go and eventually I will change that at some point. And that was probably the smoothest I could have done that. So, there we go. I have a... The closest I could get to a Collins glass prepared for this. This asshole. Over there. And the John Collins is rather simple. You just take your whiskey. You put it in a glass with some sour mix. And you shake it. I'm going to add a dash of soda water to it. It's going to be 
pretty sour. And my sour mix is going to consist of the rest of the lemons I have over here. I think I want to add a little lime in there. So I'm going to take the rest of the lemon juice that I have over here, put a little spritz of the pre-made stuff, put a little lime in there, a little bit of simple syrup, and that's where we're going to go with that. Excuse me one moment while I grab myself a lime. And I'll juice a whole lime for that because I'm going to change things up a little bit. Usually, I honestly would not opt for the lime unless I had tequila in there, because I think, or gin in there, because I think they go incredibly wine and, uh, well together, like a gin and tonic with a little bit of lime wedge or something like that, or of course, like a margarita or something like that. Could be fun. Uh, oh, but of course, the first thing to do is to add the whiskey to it. So if I grab my whiskey, I've got some, some Tory whiskey, some Japanese whiskey that you can buy at Costco that I have left over from a pal of mine who was visiting a little while ago. He came into my parents' house. He didn't want to go home because his parents were suffering from the sickness. So he was like, I don't want to go and get the sickness. So can I come to your house instead? I was like, sure. And so he brought some of this with him. Drank quite a bit of it. And this is what we got left over. And this jigger is really, really... Oof, that is filled with honey. Wow, that tastes incredibly interesting. I'll get a paper towel real quick to go clean that up. Put a little bit of water in there. Just so I can clean things out a bit. Please, please, please. No, not on the floor, please. A little bit of water, a little bit of water. Perfect. That's all I need. Soak that up a bit. Let's roll it around. All right. Good enough for me. All right, cool. The Suntory whiskey in this particular cocktail calls for two ounces of whiskey. These are all shaken, so I'm going to put it in the Uber shaker. I love this one. And alas, I need to walk away for just another moment because I have forgotten the ice yet again. I was a lot better with this last time. I had things prepared, it was all going good, it was great, and honestly, this Collins glass could use for a little bit of ice too. Zoop! Switch out. Add some more ice. Special flavor glass. There we go. That feels much better. Drink that whiskey for you? I absolutely will. But only after I've mixed it with something a little bit different. Here we go. Suntory whiskey. We've got two ounces of the Suntory whiskey. I hope I have two ounces in the left. And I do. Perfect. I'm going to pour it in that. It's got my ice in it, right? Hell yeah, I do. Drink it out. Nah, that's a lot of whiskey. I've run out of cocktail ideas after this, so if I run out, I guess I'm going to have to drink it on the rocks, but I'll have to wait until the end when I finish this one. What's next? Next, ugh, got water all over my book. That's a shame. Fill with sour mix. It says fill, which is interesting, because I can't fill the shaker with it. But I'm going to add, like, three ounces. Am I doing schoolwork? No, this ain't for school. I finished my bartending classes a while ago. Let's see how much I can get out of this lemon. Actually, let's just grab another lemon. This ain't for school. This is just one of the hobbies. It was schoolwork before. I had to read an entire chapter of my engineering law book today. And, well, that was... That took a lot of patience. I was actually doing a lot of work on the side, too. At least attempting to upload speeds. Also, I had to argue with the internet company today. I had four different people tell me, this is what your internet deals are, and every single one gave me a completely different option. And uh, I knew, I knew that was going to happen, but like, God, it sucks. You got to deal with it like that. I'm going to squeeze out a whole lemon in here. That's one lemon. Squizzed. Cool. Let's squeeze out the rest of this lemon. Squazzed as well. 
Let's see. I don't know. That's a lot of lemon. Let's do a little lime in there. Just just half a lime. It says sour mix. Doesn't doesn't say which sour mix. So I can make whatever I want to. I can do whatever I damn well please. So I will. So let's have some lime juice in there. That is about two ounces of for lack of a better term, shit that's sour. Um, I'm gonna add additional ounce in there. It says filled with sour mix. Cameron might be Asian. I don't think I am. But if someone can prove me wrong, I will happily consider the possibility. <laughs> if someone can prove to me that I am in part Asian, I'll take it. But I think, I, I think I'm all European there. All bits of European, all bits American, so on and so forth. I don't really know. All right, let's fill this up to the one ounce line. Yeah, that's just about good. And that's most of that citrus. Uh, where do I put that? I was, whoops, I'll just put it I got a spray glass over here, so let's just throw that all in there. Bunch of scraps. Bunch of scraps. I'll keep the rest of the scraps over here. Pointless. Pointless, pointless. All right. That's my... Yeah, that's squeezing shit for the night. Cool. You and Cole, we're talking about races of our staff. We got Asian and said, Cameron might be Asian because you're really smart. Lumfow. I'm actually more Italian than I am anything else with German being the next one and a weird mix of Czechoslovakian, a little bit of Hungarian in there. That's the rest of it. As you can tell, I'm moving my hands around. That's Italian, right? Uh, sure, whatever. He's Italian because he's loud. It can get louder. It most certainly can. I'll add the rest of that in there, the sound mix. And let's see, a little bit of line on my fingers, and I'm going to add a little bit of simple syrup to my sour mix. He's Italian because he's loud. I swear he's part di- Anna, I can see you chatting. I'm taking a break from work. That's my fiance, by the way. Putting in her two cents in chat. Yeah, we'll add like an ounce. I'm part deaf. Yeah, my my father's a rock star. He's uh, really into music. And so when I was like two or three years old, I'd be taken to the rock concerts. And, uh, well, I was taken to the rock concerts at a very young age, three or four, and probably affected my hearing. I'm going to take that one. That's all that I think I need. Then I am going to... My God! I forgot my strainer. What the fuck is wrong with me today? I'm forgetting everything! Where did I put this damn thing? Strainer. Hello? I have a second one. I'll take it. No, silly. She's not my finance. She's my fiance in me. Does she know what sparked is, or am I hiding things? Oh no, she knows all about it. She knows everything. I'm a very honest man. Honesty is the best policy. Communication is key. Insert X other piece of relationship advice here that is totally unwarranted, unsolicited, and totally unnecessary. Oh, and then we add a little bit of add a little bit of soda water there. Oh, there we go. Fill it up to the top with soda water. And that's... That's Le John Collins. And it says, garnish with cherry and orange. So, what I'm going to do... I reach down here. I got a little thing of cherries. A little thing of cherries. I've got the closest thing that I could get to an orange. So, I have a clementine. Break up with them. Break up with me? I've put almost seven years into this shit. I can't believe you're not going to break up with me. She won't do it. She won't do it. I won't break up with her. I'm too emotionally invested in this. I have too many emotions for my own good. Somebody help me. Somebody stop me. Somebody stop me. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know. I'm going to do something funny. Let's see. Get that out of the way. I'm just going to do a wheel. This clementine. It's orange-ish. I'm gonna do a wheel. And I'm gonna put one cherry on one end, one cherry on the other. 
uh, fish around for this guy. Boop, come on. This is always the most annoying part. It's fishing for the cherries out of the jar. Yeah, it's been like seven years, dude. If you like something... If you like something, why not spend a lot of time with it? You've been with Sparked for quite a while. What? Do you love it or something? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna get this other... No! Stop that! I'm gonna grab another cherry. I apologize. You're just watching me fish for cherries. Got one. Got one, got one, got one. No! Yeah, it's true. I do love her quite a bit. Let's go with that. I don't know. That's cute looking. That's pretty cute looking. It's cute. I like that. Honestly, let's do it again. There we go. I'll just like... I don't know. Fuck it, whatever. I'll put a whole freaking clementine in there. They're small. There, that's my garnish. And, uh... Whoa, alright, well, that's... I've made a mess. Uh, whatever. Totally not scary. He said he wants to tie you down, though, once. Already have. Been there, done that. <laughs> Yo, seriously, Spark? You think I'm new to this shit? Didn't I mention it's been seven years already? It's called The Spark. In the relationship, shouldn't you know something about the Sparked, 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 Host, LLC? It's what we pride ourselves on, isn't it? Fail. Yeah, all right. I'll take that. Yeah, I recognize that. I recognize my failures. Anyway, I have probably created the most monstrous Collins drink in the history of anything, and I have to drink it. Sorry for the slurp. It was necessary. Man, that's tasty. Woo! I'm liking that. Yeah, she knows all about it. She knows all my dirty little secrets. I know the secrets of Anna's body. And she knows the secrets of mine. Dennis told me about him tying down his girl, and you got inspiration from him. Dude, I bet Dennis, like, a month or two ago. I got these ideas from American television, which are corrupting the minds of our children everywhere. Down with the media! Or something like that. Put in party hats again? Get more people to follow me. How's about that? Anna, I was just said that. No way. Oh yeah, what's up, Spark Toast LLC? Bet. Excuse the roller coaster again. Woo 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 woo. Perfect. Let's get her done. Oh, your wish is my command, dear file explorer. But before I do, before I subject myself to this type of torture, I must request that I am able to take a drink of this. You don't understand what alcohol does for my system. Alright, I'm ready for the party. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. You have the same headset? Oh my god, no way! That's so cool. I don't know. What color? Blue? White? Multicolored? Blue? Drinking alone in your room? You're depressed. I'm not alone! The other half is like, not even 15 feet from me. Hey, go back in your room! Get out of here! Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go with the blue one. This is my favorite color. You gotta put away shit? That's unfortunate. Let's see. Party hat, party hat, party hat. Now I gotta do this, don't I? I forget how I did this the first time. Party hat. Boop! That's a follow from me, dog. Perfect. There, there's your party hat. The, you know, the worst part about the party hat is I have to adjust the angle of the camera because then you can't see the party hat. So that's where we're at right now. That's just how it's going to be. Anywho, it allow me to now give you a lovely review of the John Collins. It's like Tom, but more earthy. It's like Quan, but less potent. 
It's very whiskey forward. It's whiskey, it's sour, and it's sweet. Like, that's, I don't know, it doesn't really get much more than that. Very easy to make. And it costs a lot of them. Looking like a prom date with a unicorn horn. I'll have you know. Unicorns are majestic creatures. I'm actually wearing unicorns right now. These are my slippers. And they were a gift from me. They were a gift to me. From my fiance's younger brother, my future brother-in-law. I said, my future brother-in-law gave me my unicorn slippers. They did. Yes, and, a did. Hippo and a hippo onesie. And a hippo onesie. Yeah, yeah, I'll wear my hippo onesie on stream sometimes. Maybe that's what I'll do when I, when I finally reach affiliate rank. Sub goal, guys. 300 subs for the hippo. Blah. Yeah, I really don't know how I feel about that entire clementine in the glass. Well, that'll be fun to eat later. That'll be great. That'll be really fun to eat later. I'll take it. Anyway, I've made more of a mess than I bargained for. For this penultimate drink. It may be the ultimate drink. But, as File Explorer was so gracious to point out, if I run out of drinks, I got this bad girl. Anywho is it, now for what you've all been dreading, switching of the camera. Anyway, it's time to get back to work. Why aren't you working right now? I don't know. It's been a long day. Even. Oh, is Eric streaming right now? I, wasn't, I haven't been able to check. Ah, chill. Good timing. More face cam. Earn it. Is it? You two always make me feel like I'm late. If it helps, that dog isn't coming until sometime later. Anyway, do you have something planned for Sunday? Watch silly mega Christmas specials with a thousand grams of black fur on my lap. Why? I was thinking about holding a small mega Christmas party here this Sunday. You in? Sure, why not? All right. Invite any client you're acquainted with. The more the merrier. You didn't bring your cat today? The raid stopped. They found whatever, whoever they were looking for. Huh. Anyways, we better start working. Yeah, you better. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's move on. Oh, it's time to mix drinks and change lives. I'm watching you. Mm -hmm. Not you, her. <laughs> Welcome to Bullhull, Hick. Hmm. Um. Uh. 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 I want. I want a fluffy dream. May I see your ID, please? I don't have an ID, because, um... I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas Past. I haunt you constantly unless you give me a fluffy dream. Do you have money to pay for the drinks? Uh, but I, um... Do you? Yes! I, I've got, got money. Well, the seemingly underage patron has asked for a fluffy dream, and luckily the fluffy dream can be made without alcohol, so... That's the question. Do I give alcohol to the underage client? Now, I'm a moral man. Or at least I was in my first playthrough. All bets are off the table now. I wonder if I get fired for this. That'll be cool. I can always reload. Whatever. All aged... And mixed. That just seems ironic in this instance. All aged. But not the girl. Zero. Here you go. Wow, I actually got a drink. So... Who are you just here to stalk, Miss Ghost of Mega Christmas Past? Stalk! Oh, right! I'm a ghost. 
Um, that guy. Yeah. Which employee did you leave without a mega Christmas gift, Gil? Jill, please. Would have been funny if he reacted to that. Sorry, kid. I'm not in the mood to humor you today unless you have some sort of ID. Here. Well, in a year or so, I would gladly serve you a drink. Or, like, 15 seconds ago. But until then, this is no place for you. I already got a drink. No, because you barely took a sip of the drink I made for myself. The fluffy dream, ladies and gentlemen. You felt like a good Samaritan and offered me offered me to buy it from me so it's not deducted from my pay. Isn't that right, Gil? Yep. Hey. I mean, if you ordered a drink, you could report me, but you would have to admit to ordering it. And that would bring you a different array of problems. Oh. So, if you would please leave... I can't leave, not after trying so hard to even get here. Audible sigh. Alright, let's start from the beginning. Miss Norma. How'd you know my name? I saw your ID. Could have been a fake ID. I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID that doesn't put you at 18 at the very least. You're very sharp, Miss Bartender. You look like a nice girl, Norma. Why come to a bar like this? Oh, uh, wah, wah, wah. Well, you seem like you're in a bad mood, Miss Bartender. Nah, she's like, like that all the time. Shut up. Oh, sorry if I've been harsh. These last couple of days have been rather heavy for me. And having someone underage here reminds me of a certain incident from last week incident well don't change the subject one young lady why did you come here why am i patronizing you what does it matter what do you care i can do whatever i want unless it's illegal in which case anyone can should and probably will stop you i just just wanted to be more wild you know? Wild? My mom puts way too many expectations on my shoulders. I've always been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. But it's never enough. It's not good enough to have good grades. Ugh. She also wants me to go out and take a college preparation course. Stupid. And I'm tired. I don't want to do things for her anymore. So, your solution was you came to a bar. Maybe if I came back home smelling like alcohol, she'd leave me alone. If I'm not good enough for her, I might as well kill any hope she has in me. It's funny, I have a friend who's also being pressured by her mother. Really? Yeah, but in her case, it's being pressured to settle down and form a family. Oh. So let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed? Yes. Do you like alcohol? Actually, I think it's nasty. Then you're doing things wrong. What? If you're gonna disappoint your mom, at least do it with something you like. Like, uh, become a belly dancer because you want to be a belly dancer. Otherwise, you're just trying to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Let's start with something... What do you like doing? I, I I don't know. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough for that. I haven't been able to think about what I want to do. Don't you think you should start there? Huh? What good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? If she gets disappointed in you over something you like doing, you have the right to protest. But if you're hurting her by hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy... Sounds silly, huh? Very. Go home. Do some self-discovery before hurting your mom, would you? 
Or at the very least, humor her until you're old enough to move out. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. Please, call me Jill. Jill! Alright. Careful out there. In the end, you did humor her for a bit. Shut up. Oh, a doggy! Hello, little girl! Oh, shit. Doggy! GJ! How you doing? You're late. Miss me, Jay? Huh? You're too early. Ah, good to see you here. Boss, will he be any good around here? I'm right here. I know. Of course, I spent lots of time training him. Why do you think he didn't show up last week? Because how the hell would I know we would bring a part-timer dog? Here, let me show you. Sit. Sir, yes, sir! Roll. Sir, yes, sir! Paw. Sir, yes, sir! Training. Of course. He's only shouting... Sir, yes, sir, and not doing anything else, though. I never said I did a perfect job. Hmm, is that a motorcycle? Oh, shit! Hey, not in my office! In the end, he's just a dog, I guess. Yes? Bathroom. Oh, uh... Sorry, it's only for clients. Um, promise me you'll buy something afterwards? It's the door over there. Ugh. Who the hell are you? The other one. Sheesh. I said get out of my desk! But the world's ending! It was just a motorcycle! They're the four riders then! Those are horsemen, and it already stopped. Thanks. Don't mention it. I need to buy something now, right? Oh, no, no, you don't You don't have to. Sorry if it looked like I meant to inconvenience you. No, no, I'll, I'll order something. I need a rest anyways. What can I get for you? Um, piano woman. Be nice. Sorry, didn't hear you. <clears throat> I'll have a Mars Blast. Uh, sure. Mars Blast with Biker Guy. I think he said Piano Woman first, though. I'm gonna get him a Piano Woman. You seem really insecure about yourself, so we're gonna fix that by giving you exactly what you asked for. You should be sure of yourself, dude. If you're into it, just be into it. Full throttle. Kick it up to 11, dude. Oh, was that it? Five, five... Two, three, three. Oh, look at that. Hmm. You're into it. Just be into it. Don't be ashamed. You like piano women? I like piano women. Here. You look happy. Shut up! Is that motorcycle out there yours, Mr... Uh... Call me Mario. Yes, it's mine. Sorry for the noise. Oh, don't worry. It's not like you stayed outside too long or anything. So, what do you work as, Mario? I live to paint the roads black with my wheels, leaving the trail of my engine sounds wherever I go. I'm a rebel. Fuck the red lights. Fuck the speed limits. Fuck the helmet laws. The roads are mine, and mine only. I am... Guys, I'm going outside with a dog. We'll advertise the bar. Hello, doggy. Hello, shady guy. Shady? I'll be back before long, don't worry. Alright. Careful. Who is she? Oh, uh, she's my boss. She was cute. I am. Not that you're not cute, and it's not like I'm into girls either. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I just. So where do you work, Mario? I told you, I'm a rebel. I... 
Rebels can't maintain those bikes for too long. What's your day job? I'm a delivery boy. That's really appropriate, I guess. What do you deliver? I'm from a courier company, so it's kind of like mail, I guess. I'm always around the city, and I know it like the palm of my hand. Sure, I might not remember every building, but I remember every intersection and every street. That's nice. I, I still can't take detours without feeling totally lost. Try guiding yourself with the help of landmarks. Around here, the Saber Station's antenna is a good reference. Or, I, well, I mean, um, what do I care? Fix that yourself, bitch. Do you want anything else, Mario? I guess a moon blast would be nice. Moon blast. I do. Uh, mm, got punch. Yeah, that one. That one's the only one. This one. Mm. You know what? You can. You, you, you can get your gut punch. You f you seem like you need a punch in the gut. And you don't need any alcohol for that. Dude, you gotta work on your insecurities. And here you are. Your big old manly punch to the gut. All right. I wouldn't drink it so slowly if I were you. Yeah. Say, Mario, why do you try so hard to keep up that tough guy image? It isn't working. Maybe when you arrived and had to go to the bathroom, but after that you just looked cute. Cute. So why'd you do it? Bikers are supposed to be scary, right? That bikers are scary. They're supposed to be that way. Rebels that cause trouble and ride free from society's ties. If we applied that branch of, lo branch of logic here, I should be wearing one-third of my clothes and lighting drinks on fire. I can light drinks on fire. I guess. You can do whatever you want. Dress however you want. It's just that you look like you're trying so hard. Like, you don't really enjoy that? It's not a lie. Who says you can't dress as a biker and still be a nice kid? Yeah, but the bikers. That sounded like something someone in high school would say. <gasps> uh, it's just advice. I'll take it too personally. No, you're right. I, I don't have to be that way. Unless you want to. I, I ain't stopping you there. Yeah, but I don't. It's tiring, and I don't feel good. If you want, you can try to stay quiet. You were pretty intimidating when you did that. I see. Will you have another drink, or did you have too many already? I can handle another one. Get me a fringe weaver. Sure. Good for you. Confidence. I like that. You want a drink? Tell us you want. That's incredibly alcoholic. You gonna be okay there, pal? I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you. Here, just, just take it. Just take it. Here. Yup, that's the one. Thanks. Say, Mario, you really like bikes, huh? I guess, yeah. Whenever I got into a car, I always felt like I was in the, the sort of cage. In some sort of cage. With a motorcycle, I can feel the wind, everything in my face first. It's liberating, you know? Ah, I see. Besides, I get motion sickness in cars only for some reason. Motion sickness is something I've always found interesting. Why's that? Well, you get dizzy when too many movements are happening at once, and then the body gets that signal and... throws up. But you throw up because your body thinks the dizziness is due to eating something bad. We take it for granted, but humans were not made to fly or move that fast. Motion sickness is a bug of sorts. Bug? Like the ones in computers. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, all right then. I'll I'll be leaving now. Thanks for everything. Please, do come again. 
You don't look like a Mario to me. Same. I'll be taking my break now, Gil. Okay. Be careful. And that's break time. It's vibe time. It's time for me to fill up my water bottle. Water promotional sippy cup thing. Whatever. I shall be back in a hot second. That was the wrong button. easy to make. Make off a lot of them. Looking like a prom date with a unicorn horn. I'll have you know. Unicorns are majestic creatures. 
I'm actually wearing unicorns right now. These are my slippers. And they were a gift from me. They were a gift to me from my fiance's younger brother, my future brother-in-law. I said, my future brother-in-law gave me my unicorn slippers. He did. And a hippo one. Yeah, yeah, I'll wear my hippo ones when I'm streaming. Anyway, back from that, filled up my water, had a good time, checked out a clip, we all laughed, it was great. Moving on. You're drinking alone, you must be lonely. I'm drinking alone, I must be lonely, that's right, yeah. I must be really lonely with my fiancé in the room. I'm doing work, leave me alone. Do whatever you want, dude. I'm not your keeper, do whatever you want. Billy didn't smell like poo today. That's a new one. I think Billy's the hobo that hangs out back. All right. Well, now we're back to business. Back. Any luck? I managed to give out some flyers, but most people were distracted by the dog. I had to tell them to go to the Rad Sheba bar to get their attention. Oh. Anyway, I'm back to my office. You stay here. Fine. The door opens and the crowd goes wild when they see. <gasps> Talk! <coughs> Sup, little girl? What are you doing in a bar? Honey, um, some help here? Hey, dog. I heard cats in the alley. Really? I'll go check them out. Wow, you really are bad with dogs, huh? Did I make it too obvious? Why, though? I don't know. Oh, hey, John. Hey. I think it's because I just got that trade at random. When AIs are created, they are given fears or tastes completely at random. I just happen to get stuck with a fear of dogs and chinchillas. Chinchillas are extinct, though. Thank gods. What will you have? Well, it's that time of the month, so I'll have a Bleeding Jane. Coming right up. Uh, up. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Blended. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Stop, go. Here. That time of the month. Do Lilla menstruate? Yes, oil. <clears throat> no, silly, we don't. There are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are a different story. Then, what time of the month is it? The time when I feel like drinking a Bleeding Jane! So, so how's business? You'd be surprised by how many people get struck by a holiday depression and need some Dorothy in their lives. Although it's also the session w season with the most competition. I didn't know you had competition. Of course I do. Both humans and Lilib. Half of them got a sexy Santa dress, and that's not fair. They were sold out. I wanted one too. But maybe it's best better that way. How so? The other girls like to dress in skippy clothes and show lots of skin. That scares off a lot of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regulars is to just dress normally. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. No need to hide me until reaching the room. Hell, somebody even invited me to dinner or a movie before anything else. Although I must say, it's a bit hard to get the clients in the first place. They can't tell what I do at a glance. And the first time they see me after a call, they think I'm just making a prank or something. 
Oh, well, I never saw it that way. Which reminds me, do you serve only humans or do you serve Lilim too? Humans only, but I, I do have an at least 40% organic policy. 40%? Human from the neck up. Dicks, preferably organic, but I can make exceptions. Uh, for females, I'm not so strict, though. Hmm. Why? Do you know someone that might be interested? No, just mere curiosity. Well, your curiosity left me thirsty. Give me a blue fairy. A big one, would you? Alrighty, then. Blue fairy for the small pink-haired pixie. Sure. Blue fairy for the pink head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Fill that bitch up with karma train. Because she wants... She wants the elk. And it's the elk she will get with a blue fairy. Here you go. I wonder if anyone has seen fairies after a couple of these. Some guy tested that by drinking as many as he could. He thought he saw one, but he was dizzy. And what he had seen was his puke. Oh. You know, earlier today there was a mega Christmas spirit around here. What about it? That I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving drinks to someone underage, but... And here I am. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. It's the Mega Santa prank. What? <laughs> it's a prank I pull every year. First, I pick them all, wait for a day with lots of people. Then I go to Santa's lap, and when he asks what I want, I see in the most innocent tone I can muster, I want you to make me a woman. Sometimes they try to cover it up. <laughs> the Lilum wants to be human. It's then when I say, no, I want you. After that, I say, well, at the very least, I want a dildo, a big pink one, or a very bumpy cucumber. Sometimes I spice it up. Instead of cucumbers, I ask for a pony and a crane to lift them. I once thought about screaming, help, I'm being molested. But I remembered it was a prank. I didn't want to ruin the guy's life. My, how considerate. Although I did get a client that way. He became a regular soon after. Huh. But yeah, there are three years, and they still don't get that it's always me. Oh, yeah, how old are you? <laughs> old enough for anything you want. Numbers, I, I need numbers here. Are you really asking a girl her age that way? Okay, then. Tell me your age first. 27. No fair, you didn't get fidgety or anything like that. Fine, I'll tell you. My model's designed to look between 10 to 13 years old, but my last checkup said my mental age was 24. How long since you've been deployed? That's a secret I'll keep with me. Fair enough. I expect you to get all uncomfortable asking, talking about your age, though. Why didn't you? With how dangerous everything's been lately, every year get, you get matters. Getting old isn't a curse, it's an achievement. You should make a share with that. Because if you don't, I will. Feel free to do so. You want anything else? Let's see. Um. Oh, uh, Cobalt Velvet. It's been a while since I've tried one of those. All right. Cobalt Velvet. Weird. Got a thing going on with the blue drinks there. Rocks mix. There we go. It's the cobalt velvet and a very interesting hemisphere glass. Cobalt velvet. Yup, this is the one. Do you like it? I don't dislike it. I, I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. Hey, Hottie, have you seen a Mega Santa gangbang? Um, what? Eh, what? That Mecha Santa that became a regular of mine, he once invited, like, eight of his friends. 
Gangbangs are fun because with that many guys, no one knows what to do. They think about using you too, but they don't want to touch the other guys. Well, you should have thought about that before getting naked in front of the other guys. Eight guys? And in the end, only two got into it while the others left. Even my regular left. I'll regret asking this, but were all the other guys... Yep, they were Mega Santas that worked for them. Of course they were. I've been in many, but I still don't get the charm of gangbangs. Orgies I can see, though. Well, either remembering that got me turned on, or the alcohol is kicking in. Either way, I'm leaving. Bye, honey! That was a lot. Excuse me while I abuse this tangerine thing. All right. Shake it off, here we go. That girl has seen some shit. Now I can't see Mega Santas with the same eyes. Why didn't you tell her you missed her yesterday? Forgot about it. I didn't find any cats! Why not look again? Good idea! Huh? Another kid? Maybe the bar got popular at some middle school? That'd be hassle. Oh, God's almost right. Right about what? Well, the other day I was asking her my... Uh, asking her her opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing. For the whole massive transmission hack thing. And at some point she talked about hacking becoming a fad and said... Imagine if, suddenly, a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. And today, there have been two kids already. Eh. How would bartending become a fad? Maybe a cartoon? Kids' cartoons don't show any alcohol. True. Mm. Um. Excuse me, miss. This is no place for kids, so you should... Um. Gil, she's staring too much, and she's saying nothing. She's not ordering anything, she's not causing trouble, and there's nothing inappropriate here. I mean, nothing inappropriate aside from alcohol, but alcohol is everywhere anyways. So, you know, whatever. Gotta get the last cherry at the bottom of my glass. So what do you suggest? Let her be. Maybe she's just curious about the bar. She's saying nothing. Maybe she's curious and shy. You ever thought about that? Also, it's rude to speak about people you have right in front of you like they can't hear you. Yeah. Hmm. Ahem. I guess. Jill. Bah! How the hell did I startle you? What do you want? Can you help me out here with a beer? Right. Beer for Gil. God, have I seen this girl before? Yes, you have. Oh, Lord. Yes, you have. Here's a beer. Yeah. Thanks, and lower your guard a bit, please. 
Oh yeah, before I forget. The disposal unit comes on Sunday. Do you have any expired ingredients on your side? Oh, right, yeah. Um, There's a bottle of Karmatrine that's like a month past expiration. Put it by the sink so I remember to dispose of it. Thanks. Hey, miss. Y yes? Are you happy? Am I happy? Uh, well, that's a weird question. I'm not sad, I guess. I'm not jubilant, but... No, I mean, are you happy with your life? With your choices? Deep question. I mean, I might have one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. Regrets? Yeah, I mean, don't we all? I see. Um... Hey, Jill? What? Jeez! Again, are you a bit on the edge? Maybe. What did you want? Didn't you borrow the screwdriver the other day? I did. Why? I forgot to take the coins from the arcades in the corner last week. So I need to take them out. Oh, let's see. Here. It's not like they see much action these days anyways. Welcome back, dead girl. Chump change is still money. Pocket change has saved my ass many times. What, did you throw it in someone's face while escaping? That only happened once, and the old lady started it. Right. Why does an arcade still use coins nowadays? Or physical money, when you get down to it? For the reason arcades still exist... Nostalgia. Maybe. Hey, miss. Join the party. Uh, yeah? Do you recognize me? Recognize you? I, I want to say that I do, but... Uh, uh, sorry. Really? Can't remember your own sister's face? Sister? Um, sorry, but I don't have any... S sister? Not even a sister-in-law? No way. Gabby, is that really you? God, I, I... I'm so sorry, but you've just... You've grown so much since I last saw you. How long has it been? Three years. Right. So you know her? Yeah, she's actually my girl... My... My ex's sister. I'm so... How have you been doing? I actually had to transfer schools, and I managed to skip a grade thanks to the admission tests. I'll be at a middle school next year. I've always been a smart one, so it's no surprise. Have you thought about what you want to study in college? You always said you wanted to be a scientist. I don't know yet. I guess I'll still have a couple of years to think about that. Well, don't feel pressured about that. Maybe you'll need a sabbatical year. So, um, how's Lenore? Wait, who's Lenore? Her sister. She's, well, she was my girlfriend. So you actually had a relationship with somebody that's not a cat? Color me surprised. Hey, don't, don't talk shit about my baby. <clears throat> so, um, how's Lenore doing? She's dead. I'm sorry, I don't think I heard that right. My sister's dead, Jill. She died last Saturday, and I came all the way to tell you the news. Come on, Gabby, don't stop fooling around. Like, 
No, you stop fooling around. I mean, wow, really. My sister was left to suffer her disease alone while well, you were all merry here, mixy drinks, and chatting. Wait, wait, Luna was sick? Of what? Since when? Localized nanomachine rejection gave her a heart attack. She started complaining about chest pains not long after you left. Was all the talk about getting your freedom worth it, Jill? Was your right to be merry worth the life of my sister? Why are you lashing out at me like this? I Did I infect her with the disease that killed her? No, but it's too much of a coincidence that she started getting worse and worse right after you left. She got visibly sick after you fought. It'd be no surprise if that fight played a key role in killing her. But that's just speculation. You can't expect at all of that because you wanted freedom. What kind of freedom is so enticing? It makes you hurt a nice three-year-old relationship. Was that freedom so important you cut all contact with us? Was this freedom so good you left everything behind? Was this freedom worth the life of my... Shut up! Yeah. I didn't kill your sister for fuck's sake. It's not like I infected her with that nano machine rejection. Hell, this is the first time I've heard she was sick. And do you really know what kind of fear drove me to have that argument with your sister? Do you even understand the fear of feeling your youth slip from your fingers? Do you think it was all easy for me? I was scared. I'm still scared. But I needed to grab a hold of my life. But it has nothing to do with your sister. I, I loved her. Do you think that fight didn't hurt me too? I... Idiot. I'll make sure that girl gets home to wherever she wants to go safely. Meanwhile, Chief? I know. Come on, Jill. I'll... Let's take you home. Home, sweet home. Hey, Jill, you wanna... grab something to eat? I'm not hungry. Want me to come in? I'll keep you company. I'm fine. I just... just need to be alone for a bit. Chill. You can tell me what you're feeling. It's okay. It's not okay! It's not. Come here, Jill. Come here. Just, I feel like part of me is crumbling right now. <laughs> Our girlfriend was sick and I didn't know anything about it. Her sister came to deliver the news and she held nothing but animosity for me. I, and not only that, but I, I lashed out at her too. Like, history fucking repeats itself. Maybe if I hadn't cowered back then and apologized... Maybe if I wasn't such a selfish little shit, and maybe, maybe, <sighs> thanks boss, I really needed this. Do you want me to stay with you today? Thanks, but I, but I actually need some time for myself. Some me time to put my thoughts in order. Yeah, I... I understand that. But don't do anything funny, you hear me? If any weird thoughts come to you, or if you feel too anxious, you call me. Yeah. Hey, Four, she's in your care, you hear? Wow. Remember to call me. I'll call you later. Checking you, nonetheless.
Total earnings, $24,110. Drinks total, $7,010. Mistakes, none. Commission, 30%. Today's payment, $513. Tips at $200. Flawless service at $500. Remember, I'm here for you anytime. Three hundred bucks. Today's total transfer fifteen hundred and thirteen. Total funds seventy two hundred and eleven. And as we move on, the electricity bill will be sent out. Jill's feeling a little down. She really likes that cutesy game poster she saw. Buying will prevent her from getting a little too distracted. Buy something to pick me up. Sometimes a little pick-me-up is, like, absolutely the right thing to, like, make you feel a little better, no matter what's going on. Oh, what was that poster called? It's a, like, cutesy game poster. It's a poster of a game. What was it? Movie poster. That's a movie. Cutesy game poster. Look at that. All right. Honestly, on the days that I'm feeling really down, no matter what it is, it's, like, really nice just to, like, grab something quick if I can. You know, like, there were, there were a lot of days. Last year was a really tough year. I just started, like, taking grad courses and whatnot. And I was also working more or less a part-time job at that point, which felt full-time some of the days. I would take, like, a day at work. I'd take a day at classes, take a day at work, take a day at classes. And then I have a day to catch up on things. And it was, it was a huge change. That was last year. That was when I started classes, uh, graduate classes, not classes in general. But it's it's still down a lot since there, and it's gotten a lot more relaxing. But during that time, I think I was the most stressed out that I had been in my entire life. And some of the things that just made my day feel so much better was like that that trip to the coffee shop in the morning, trip to the coffee shop in the afternoon, whenever I really needed it. I know my schedule at that point in time was I might be getting Mondays and Tuesdays mixed up, but it was. Mondays, go to work, eight hours, come home. Tuesday, start classes at eight, get out of classes at five, pretty much the eight hours, go back home. Wednesday, repeat the work day. Thursday, repeat the school day. Sorry, I did get the Mondays and Tuesdays slipped up. Anyway, and then Friday, back to work for a half day before I would go home. I believe it was during the summer, so I really wanted to see my friends at that point, but you know, I had to prioritize the school stuff. And yeah, sometimes every once in a while, like in the middle of the day, grabbing like a quick coffee from the store, not something that you can just make in your curry or anything like that, but like actually getting something that you know was made with some sort of like professional apparatus. Somebody put their somebody put their effort into that drink for you. Even if it was just the clank on the espresso machine, click the button and go. But it just felt like something different from the norm to really pick you up from that state that was that was always nice to be able to do for myself i'm glad it's past then <laughs> i wouldn't want to do that again i mean on the bright side the pandemic happened so job was furloughed classes became remote so it all got significantly more easy so to speak but you know doors closed doors open Classes are still happening. Different job. Life moves on, and it's okay. And every once in a while, get a good cup of coffee, have a good drink, something like that. Whatever makes you feel happy, and you feel all right again. It's not magic, though. It used to be a lot easier. It used to be like you flick the switch and you were feeling better. Eh, it's not that easy anymore. It feels really good when it does come back. Let's see what else we've got on the news today at the augmented eye let's get out of that crevice of sadness it's acting it's a video game but sometimes it feels so real the augmented eye 66 american kid returns 66 american kid returns challenges giant yusuke to a title match by lana smithy <clears throat> big sip get ready all right, let's go. 
Ever since Giant Yusuke won the GSF belt, he's had nothing but negative responses from his fans. Challenger after challenger has tried to take the title away from the imposing Giant, but nearly all of them were injured in the process. 66 American Kids surprised the GSF world by returning to action almost four months earlier than expected and then challenging Giant Yusuke to a title match on January 4th at the Super Silver Thunder Dome. This January I become the champion GSF deserves, 66 American Kid proclaimed during a promotion in front of 25,000 fans in the Kokoro Hall. I wish I knew more about wrestling. Sounds exciting. New act proposes increased surveillance by Lana Smithy. We have nanomachines tracking people 24-7. However, due to the violent protests that have taken place recently, Prime Minister Quincy is now proposing a new law that will allow the government to shut down anyone with nanomachines in their body using a pulse signal. Many people died during the protests, and that could have been avoided if we had more control over the masses, Quincy said during a parliament meeting. We have the technology to simply shut down lawbreakers. It's a non-lethal way to end any kind of conflict, and it's common sense to use it at this point. When asked about the possible negative consequences, Quincy refused to make any further comments. Mrel. More nanomachines? It's all smokescreen to divert attention. Uh, Kirimiki Encore Concerts. Kirimiki Encore Concert announced by Lana Smithy. Fans of the famous cyber idol Kirimiki are in for a huge party, all thanks to the announcement of a second concert in Glitch City's Silver Thunder Superdome. I'm so excited to extend my visit, declared the cyber idol during the interview. Tickets are now up for a sale and expected to disappear in a matter of minutes, so be quick. Secure the best spots. You can get tickets from the following retailers. Good for her. I don't think I can actually click on that. What can I? No tickets for me. I have work to do. What else do we got going on here? Danger you. Am I going to say releasing EK? Uh, I think... Oh, I didn't read that one yet. All right. Monkey say releasing EKVV 186 update. This is the greatest thing ever. Grace Planet Earth. I literally can't stop touching myself. Such a high quality release. But why is the camo blurry? I think it's a regulation for the civilian models. Something's off. I know it'd be all of this normally, but I can't seem to get excited of this. Shit taste is showing. Nah, I just think it's kind of, uh, descends, uh, descends, um, uh, it's kind of tired of the same thing over and over. That's what happens when you consume way too much fucking military equipment and weapons. Yeah, I think it's that. Better stop buying so many weapons already or I'll never find pleasure in them again. Any word of the camera stuff for the civilian weaponry? They said they were going to announce more stuff on a later date. I like porn, you guys. This thread is closed. Mrow, invisible guns. Well, I think they'll use it for cute patterns, at least. And that's that's what the internet has to offer today. Let's do a quick backup. A little bit of a save there. And, uh, yeah. Day number 10. Getting close to that. I'm going to take a quick break. For the compose myself, take a dip into the wings for a little bit, and I'll be back in a little bit. Stay right there where you are, or don't. Do whatever you want. Be back in a bit.
Welcome back to everybody who's stuck around. Bit of a rough day at work that one was. But, not without it, its excitement. I will be doing one more night tonight. Feels right. I feel like I just can't leave it there. So that's what I'm going to do. To finish things off, I'm just going to make a very quick beverage for myself to continue on with the evening. I will just be making a very simple... Uh, Manhattan drink. So I will add to my glass what may be the rest of the whiskey. Eh. Still some more. Add that to the glass. Pour a little on my pant leg. That's fine. It's all good. What goes in after that is an ounce and a half of sweet vermouth. The only one I got. Martina e Rossi. This was one. Smells a little cherry today. It's been sitting in the fridge for long enough. Pour that in. And finally, to top that off, this is a quick one. Had one of these last night. Very pleasant. I haven't had it with the Suntory yet. Curious to see how that goes. And just a little couple of dashes of those Angostura bitters. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. I have stuff all over my discs. Join the party. Send a message. Join the club. The doors are always open to the party. All you need to do is walk right in. The doors are always open. And I've dropped my bottle cap. Eh. Whatever. My hands are all sticky now. Let me fix that real quick. There we go. Nothing without my mistakes sometimes. You make a mess, it's okay. You clean it up. Join the party, send a message. Flame hands. And I don't have anything to really mix that with, but mix that up with the knife that I got. I'm cutting things. It's like tennis tryouts. I've never been to tennis tryouts. Classic Manhattan. It's got a sweetness, it's got a bite to it, and it's got the cinnamon. Got the cinnamon from the Angostura bitters there, and I love it. Truly a classic. You just auto join. Oh, is that so? Sorry, I'm trying to get all the stickiness off my hands. I've never been to tennis trots before. I guess that means I should try it for the tennis team. Because they're just going to let me on the team. It's just grunting and tennising and balling and racketing. And yeah, that's that's my idea of tennis. Anywho. Back to the action. I say there's one more day of work left. So let's get right to it. It's late. Beyonce is sleeping. Shh. You don't have to shoot. You can scream as loud as you want to. I won't care. I technically can't hear you, so it is of no consequence to me. Yeah, I wouldn't know anything about the tennis teams. Honestly, I, do we have? We definitely have a tennis team here, at school. They must, because we have tennis courts. Here at Drexel University, we're known more for our squash teams, which is kind of like if wall ball met pickleball met, met taking the stage or the the court and folding it in half. And that's what squash is. Squash championships, apparently. Ah, I've never played squash, uh, squash before, so... Good evening. Are you okay? I feel like shit. You sure you could've... Should've come then? Like... Should, maybe you should've stayed at home? I have to come. I threw away everything I had in my life to be here. People I loved were pushed aside just so I could enjoy my freedom of being here. My stupid, stupid freedom. So, I'll come here till the day I die. Even after the bar closes, till my hair falls out. You're the one who looks like she's about to fall apart. 
your eyes are red, swollen. Yeah, well, your hair is hairy. Yes, it is. Ah, who's was the dipshit that changed the order of the glasses? It was me. I was the one washing dishes yesterday, remember? Oh, well, yeah, I was too busy staring at my crumbling life and all that to really be paying attention to that. Why don't you go home, Jill? You're in no position to deal with people right now. Go home. Rest a bit. My girlf- My, my ex-girlfriend died. I wasn't there to see her one last time. All because of a fight I spent all these years regretting and wishing to, but never actually apologizing for. My decision to assert my freedom and grab a hold of my life led me to this. Bartender strapped for cash that distanced herself from her loved ones for no other reason than selfishness. I won't fucking leave. Threw all of that away to be here. So, here's where I'm gonna stay. This is what I wanted. This is why I left all that behind. This is why... See, you're starting to sound like a broken record. I'll leave her be. I'd rather have her here than alone in her apartment. How you feeling, Jill? You're like a shitting piece of shit. I'm the lowest of any possible life form that you might find. Nanobes look down to me in disgust, knowing they're far superior. You're spirited. That's good. Where's the mutt? Working with Sira. At Sira. I know what I said. In any case, let Jill process her anger. It's perfectly normal to feel that way. And here, she's surrounded by people that care about her. That's a lot better than leaving her to fend for herself. I mean, as smart as Four might be, he's still just a cat. Why not have Jill stay, but not serve anyone today? What part of I won't leave don't you understand? I didn't leave everyone behind to just sit and do nothing. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, what do you? What do we do if she lashes out at a client? That's why you're here, Gillian Pliskin. Who? Hey, Jill. What? I'll be in my office, but if you need a break or a hug, just tell me. Everything will be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Boop. Boop. Everything will be okay. Oh, you already put on music. Yeah. This is going to be an interesting day. The Hall of Heroes keeps shining. Bring me with the... Do I smell tacos? Wait, it's outside. Never mind. Oh, hell no. We meet again, bartender. Virgilio, what can I get you? Today, the luminous pollution on the streets makes it seem almost like a starry sky. When I think about stars, I think about celebrities. Celebrities are fishy and my favorite fish is the octopus. So I want something octopus-like. Aren't you going to do that weird bartending thing? I'm waiting for you to order... Like a decent human being. I'm not following. Spell out your order like you're a human who is not in need of medical help. Fine then. I want a sparkle star. S-P-A-R. R. Cool star. Sparkle star. Sparkle. Is your sparkle star, pal? <laughs> See, was it that hard? Have you tried to spell under pressure? You look angry. Spelling bartender, are you having that 
time of the month or something. No, I'm just filled with ridiculous amounts of anger, pain, and self-hate, and at fun. One second thought, you're not that far from the truth, I guess. I get those too, you know. Periods. You do? Yes, last month I finally got over my renaissance and moved to my enlightenment. A and here I was thinking, you get to say something serious for once. Are you implying I'm not serious? <sighs> Glaring holes through me will do nothing. I'm glare immune. But if you allow me to give you a sincere piece of advice. Whatever, it's not like it'll help. You shouldn't kick yourself so much. If you keep it up, any chance of finally forgiving yourself will someday be gone. Self-hate will leave you with a hole that will never heal. So please, take measures against it instead of sulking so much. I'll be damned, that actually sounded half-sensible. And here I was thinking you were just a pompous lunatic. Hey, pompous lunatics have stories too. Really, what story? Um, I'd rather not tell. Figures. You want anything else? Have you ever seen how the... A bad touch. I, I'd like a bad touch. Whatever, dude. Rough times here, dude. Read the room. That was wrong. Read the room there, pal. It's not a good time right now. On the rocks. Give it a mix. There you go. <laughs> bad touch. Bah. Here. Yeah. Guess this is the one. Maybe he's right and I shouldn't be so hard on myself. Even though I deserve every second of it. If only I had apologized earlier, I might not be feeling this way right now. If only I... <laughs> only I... 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 I can't even remember what help me from apologizing all of these years um bartender making lots of faces there pride fear what kept me from going out and apologizing to lenore i can't even fucking remember what feeling kept me from fixing this whole situation can i at least find solace and whatever feeling it was that brought me to this situation Great, now I'm, now I'm feeling even worse now thanks to not being able to muster whatever feeling held me. She okay? No, but just leave her be for now. Hey, Jill! Uh, oh, thank God, a normal person. What? A mummy? No, no, I, I, I don't have kids. Still more normal than this twat. How are you feeling, Say? <laughs> My bones are still broken, but at least the cuts are healing nicely. Thank God I'm not someone that scars easily. Um, I, I mean, wounds, wounds don't leave me marks. It'd be a problem if I couldn't get scar tissue. What happened to you? Fell off two and a half stories into some trash and rubble. You look better, though. Last time you came, you looked like you were about to collapse emotionally. Ha! <laughs> I guess. Isn't that what it looks like it now, though? How do I put it? It's like when I called you your full name, but magnified. Yeah, don't mind me too much. I'm in a, I'm in a bad mood. Anything I can do? Please forgive me if I suddenly lash out at you or anybody else. Do you want something? 
<laughs> my tongue's not so sensitive today, so... Let's have a beer. And you? Such a change in tone. I'm fine. I... I don't need anything. Beer, 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 beer. Ah, oh, yay! Let's see if there are any differences from the canned ones. And... This one tastes less watered down. So, did something happen to you? I'm fine. Nothing's... Nothing's happened to me. People who are fine don't act like that. Oh! I get it. You're in... Those days. When it's that time of the month, I get a bit sulky. No, I'm not on my period. No? I'm dealing with the loss of someone, okay? Oh. Sorry. Don't worry. Maybe I shouldn't have come today after all. Um, no, I, maybe, maybe, ah, are you all right? I'm trying to find something to say. Making a joke would be tasteless, and I can't say any, everything will be all right without it sounding cheap. I'm, I'm really at a loss at what to do here, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to hear something weird? I was exactly like that when Stella came here on Monday talking about you. Oh? Well, ladies, I'm leaving. Virgilio. Yes? You were just sitting with it, Valkyrie. Really? Oh, splendid! This will make a good entry in my poems blog! Oh, I'd feel bad about the way I treated him today. If not for the fact that he was being cryptic with his orders for no good reason. Like Stella when she first came. Yeah, uh, no, I mean... Haha, <laughs> you... Could have given him a free beer or something and apologized. Yeah, I, I just keep messing things up with people. But you know, he he seemed familiar. Familiar. Yeah, I I can't put my finger on it though. I just I feel like I've seen him somewhere. Now, well, it might just be something that he looks like someone from or something. So what brings you here? I wanted to come with Stella, so I'm waiting for her. Why here? To be with you, of course. That reminds me. How did Stella react when you arrived? She slapped me! Real hard. It hurt. She said... That's for making me worried and not listening to me. And then she became happy. Hmm. Can I ask whose loss you're dealing with? You shouldn't be bothered with it. Just pretend I'm in a bad mood and call it a day. Oh, okay. Hmm. You really want to know, huh? I can't help it. I don't like seeing people sad. I just need to know context, not details. Hmm, well. Someone of whom I said some mean thing to passed away before I could ever see her again. Does that work? Yeah. Sorry. Knowing I can't do anything helps me calm down, but... I, I, I mean, it's 
It's not that I wouldn't help. I, I just... Calm down. I, I get it. I get it. Really. I can't contain myself when I see people in need. But I've learned that there are times when you just can't do anything. And that's kind of fine. Thank God I learned that. Otherwise, I would have gone insane ages ago. You're a good person, say. Nah, I'm just an annoying girl. Still, if there's, if there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. I have broken bones, but that doesn't mean I can't offer emotional support. You could always order another drink. Oh yeah, let's let's do that. Get me something cold, please. All right. Say wants something with ice. Say's a sugary kind of fella. Sugary kind of girl. You come with ice. Me does not. The spark of the... Nope. Not with ice. Um. Blue fairy with ice? Nope. Moonblast. There we go. It's cold. It's sweet. It's lovable. I'll take it. On the rocks. Blend it up a bit. I have nothing to shake. Nope. Ooh, I need to put the cap back on my simple syrup. Do that real quick. And yeah, that's blended enough. Cool. Stop it. New ballast. Here you go. It's pretty cold outside, though. Yeah, but I don't like hot or warm drinks. They make me feel nauseous. You know what cheers me up? What? Singing. Hearing people sing helps, too. Do you sing? I mean, do you take singing lessons or something? You know, people have told me my voice is pretty nasty, actually. <laughs> but they've also told me I'm good with the harmonica. So you play the harmonica? I needed something to do some breathing exercises with, and a harmonica is a lot smaller than a tuba. Or a sousaphone. And I guess if you practice enough, you become decent. That's something I didn't expect. <laughs> I hear that a lot. I know I don't look like the musical type. I used to play the violin. Right until I was 16 or so. Really? Can you still play? The violin's at my mom's house, so I don't have it with me. I guess I could. It's it's one of those things you don't forget easily. Why'd you stop? I don't know. W one day I just felt like stopping. No deep reason behind it. It's just like me and cooking. That and almost burning my place up. When's Stella coming? Now that you mention it, she's a bit late. Uh, let me call her. You do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my break. Tell, uh, tell Gil if you need anything else. Sure. And it's break time. Taking a little bit of a vibe check. See, 2021, day 10, break, still gets me confused. Still gets me a little confused. Because the date between here and that one, consecutive days, different years, it depends. It's actually interesting looking back on when I last completed this game. And as it turns out, I completed it back... In August, and I remember actually, I think I enjoyed the last couple scenes. I finished this game the first time around right after I was moving out. Basically, right at, like in the middle of the pandemic, um, I was moving out of my fraternity room, and I had to move all of my belongings from my place. It's not that far away, but it's about a half hour walk, about a five minute drive. 
And I basically had to do it all myself. There was not a lot of people who were around to help me then. Fiance was working. Uh, friends were doing some traveling. I had to pick up my bed. I had to pick up my uh, furniture. I had to pick up my TV. I had to drive it all over to here. It took the entire day to get everything over. And it also took the effort of both me and both of my parents to get absolutely everything over to make room for anybody else who wanted to move in after me. My roommate wound up getting the room to himself. It's a very nice room. Biggest room in the fraternity house. It was great. That was stressful. And that looks from the date that I see here, two months later, around August, you know, this was before, this was after I'd moved in. After Anna had settled down with me, she was traveling a bit beforehand. So the first week or two, she wasn't actually there. But I set up the apartment. It looks really great. I think it looks pretty great. Love all my stuff on the wall. And I completed the game because I was like, got this far. I got, I got to complete it now. And there was like a three month, three month, oh, one month gap. Excuse me. I'm looking at the wrong uh, number. It's pleasant. This is one of those games. It, it almost feels. Like a book. I'm doing a doing a chat now, so maybe I'll switch my video around. I don't know. If, I'm not sure if that's proper or not. But like this is one of those games. It almost feels like a book. It's a visual novel, right? So you're it's almost as if the scene is being created in your head. But it's not in your head this time, it's actually on the screen. You actually have the opportunity to see the visuals of what's going on. So as opposed to determining what the character looks like just by the description of what you see in the book, you actually have an example of what they look like here. It kind of sets the scene for you. And you get to determine what the context of it is, what the genuflection of the voice tends to be, and what the, the drama tends to be. Because depending on what you say things as depends a lot on how the scene plays out and usually you know with a book this is with my other book over here ah, it's on a pile i won't grab that but in a book it's all up here it's all up in your head unless it comes to the, some comes to the screen somebody makes a visual novel after it somebody makes a movie off of it but it's a very unique feeling reading a book and picturing what's going on in your head and supposedly, and this was because of an article I read a while ago, supposedly there are people who are not able to visualize things in their, for lack of a better term, their mind's eye. So if you were to just close your eyes for a moment and imagine something there, it really doesn't matter what it is, but if you can imagine, like, I'm imagining, like, a beach right now. I see the sand, I see the horizon, I see the waves... There's a sandcastle over here. It's got a little flag on top of it. And I see my family over there because it's a nice memory of mine. But I can almost picture that in my mind's eye. Apparently, there's a lot of people in this world who don't have the ability to do that. It seems almost unfathomable but because I have the ability to do that. I can do that very easily. I can kind of picture things in my mind's eye even with my eyes open. It's pretty cool. It's a special ability of mine. But not everybody can do that. So it's cool that games like this exist, movies exist. It takes the pressure off of the individual to imagine it themselves. All you got to do is look at the screen. All you got to do is be into what's playing in front of you. And that's pretty cool. I was actually just conversing with one of my close friends the other day about what is the difference between being obsessed with, say, a book series versus a television series well they can both be stories they can both be equally as engrossing they can both be equally emotionally effective i think the only difference is just the medium with which it is played on with a television or a youtube video or a twitch stream the visuals are right there in front of you. Your mind doesn't need to make up the visuals itself. Maybe that gives more leeway for the emotion to rush in. How you actually feel about what you're watching. I, I'm not the first person to say that as I'm watching, you know, reading a visual novel or watching a television drama show that I start 
tearing up a bit because like it starts to tug at your heartstrings. But I also wouldn't be the first to say that as you're reading a book that's got that emotion to it, it describes things well, that it also starts to pull at your heartstrings a bit and maybe starts to make you experience that emotions a bit. The only I think the only difference necessarily between like the television in this example and the book is that with the book, you got the words in front of you. But I know when I read a book, I don't picture the words in front of me as I'm reading them. I picture the scenes that are playing out in my head. When I remember reading a book, I don't remember the the slightly tan colored pages with black text on them in a sans serif font or serif font, depending on what book you read. I don't picture that in my head. When I remember it, I remember the scenes that I imagined in my head. Don't get me wrong. When I imagine a television show, I imagine the scene that plays out in front of me. That seems a little more natural, though. Sometimes I'll be taking the drive home, and I'll be just kind of talking with myself in my brain, or I'll be talking to myself out loud, and the way that I remember that conversation with myself are the words that I said to myself silently. They originated up here. They were interpreted over here. It all exists within my brain. But when I remember those conversations I have with myself, or, I mean, I guess I don't have silent conversations with other people, per se, but I remember it as if I were actually speaking out loud. And that's a really interesting thing about the brain. I don't know. I think I'm rambling a little bit here. But it's really interesting to think about. What is the difference there? I don't know. Food for thought. Anyway. I digress. Let's get back to the game at hand. Also, of course, if you haven't already noticed, it's, you know, I've been, I've been imbibing actual alcoholic beverages here. It does affect the neuro, the neuro system a little bit. So drink water, please, if you are following along at home. This is water, not vodka. It's good for you. Water is good for you. Someone say vodka is good for you. I don't know. Maybe for like cauterizing wounds. Anyway, we move on. Stay safe from whatever, this, whatever it is that you do. Uh, click the button. And we'll continue. Have I ever wrote down stuff while looking at something completely different? I have. There's, there's a tower that I can see in from my apartment window that is, it's actually the place I used to work at. I used to work in that big tower. And I kind of wrote down what it is that I thought that I saw in like the lights of the tower as it changed at night. It, it, was, a little, it was a visual example there. But I guess in terms of like written prose and syntax like that, yeah, there was actually a project that I did in my, I guess I'll switch back to this, so <laughs> I'm vamping again, so I'll go back to this. Um, in my early years of college, one of the first classes that I took in my freshman year was an honors class that, it was just like the generic class that you take when you enter the honors college, and one of the assignments that we had to do was writing about all of the things that are in your dormitory. And I was able to write, like, paragraphs upon paragraphs of that, the different belongings that are in my room. I found a, a lanyard that I got at a convention. I had a picture that I also got at a convention. I, I had a, a bracelet that broke that I got from my parents. I had a watch that stopped working sometime in high school. I had folders that I had used in my high school geometry class. There were a ton of things like that. And one of the other assignments that they asked us to do as well was, okay, Imagine everything you have right now, instead, and this was in a separate class, this was, this was an English class that I wrote, imagine that the world that you knew today changed completely tomorrow. How would you write about that world? And in a way, I looked at the world around me and was like, okay, if everything flip-flopped as it was right now, how would I be able to write about that? How would I interpret the world around me would i be shocked would i go with it is this like some sort of isekai anime where i just accept things and move on with my life level up and get a wonderful fan base 
Anyway, yeah, I, I have done a project on that before. And it was, uh, it's, it's really interesting to kind of imagine how things are the opposite or non-adjacent, non-congruent to the way that you see them currently. It reminds me a lot of the, that one movie where Jim Carrey's like the pen. He's trying to say the pen is red. The pen is blue, but he can't lie. So he struggles with it. It's like looking at what you got right in front of you and being completely different from it. But, uh, yeah. To answer that question, yes, I have. It's is different. But, um, you know, it's a nice thought experiment. It's good to think about things like that every once in a while, you know? It's good to get the mind rolling in directions that aren't necessarily normal for your everyday existence. Let you prepare for what's to come. Yeah, you know, when, it, when you're in classes, in, in high school, I used to I used to take a lot of doodles, and I would always digress from the notes at hand. So, but uh, I do that a lot recently now, too, because I've kind of gotten back into it. Yeah. Totally cool to take notes on that. If your mind just... Dude, there's an entire sect of writing that is stream of consciousness, I believe. I've never actually read it myself, but there's a book out there called Ulysses that is written in the train of thought style where it's like it's like word after word after word after word there are no there's no sentences there's no syntax there's no punctuation or something like that and it's as if if your mind were to just like you were to take out a string of words from your brain word by word that's what this book is and i'd love to read that someday cuz i think it would be very interesting to me anyway i shall continue with the task at hand there's more narration to be done. Stella and Say make me a bit jealous. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Beautiful music. I love it. Back! Looks like you've calmed down. I still feel like kicking myself. Making a mistake. But, I guess it cooled down a bit. Say helped a lot with that one, though I... I just can't stay mad when I see her. Hey, speaking of which, where is she? I believe she went outside to look for that Stella girl or something. The way you are right now, it feels like I should be protecting you. Hey, the only thing hindering me is the broken arm. I've gone into burning buildings with a two centimeter deep cup. Yeah, I remember that one. Like, uh, one millimeter more and you would have lost the motor function in your arm. Welcome. Ah, oh, hello, Jill. What's this about protecting who? Yeah, um, uh, I'm sort of like Stella's unofficial bodyguard, so, but I I'm not really fit for such duties right now. My father insists I go everywhere to protection, so most of the time I only ask Say if she feels like going out. She's trained to deal with the kind of things that bodyguards deal with anyway, and she's more fun to hang around with too, so, you know. So I'm assuming that gorilla outside is a bodyguard? That's Buster! A pretty cool guy. He played football professionally until he lost his leg in a demolition derby. We've offered him an implant surgery for all these years of service, but he rejects it every single time. Well, he's got used to the replacement he's using, so maybe it's for the best. It's a thick oak branch on a metal bowl tied to his stump and yet he can still run faster than me with it true you want something uh, i'm fine right now a brantini a big one i'm i'm in a good mood one brantini for stella doodles in a boring class even doodles in an entertaining class honestly I remember when I was in middle school, middle school was when I drew most of my drawings on my notes that there was a study or whatever that came out or somebody told me about it and they're just like, yeah, you know, when you doodle during class, your mind actually recalls the information better because you have some other source of stimuli in there other than just the lecturer and the notes and stuff like that. So Luckily, I've never had a teacher yell at me for doodling in my notes. I don't think anybody ever has. Actually, the school, the middle school that I went to, totally welcomed my doodles and stuff like that, which was great. 
my creativity stifled in college, but that's coming back to me ever so slowly. It never actually left. But, oh yeah, doodles? For sure. I definitely did better on math tests because I had doodles in my book. And I had some pretty awesome doodles in there. I gotta, I gotta find those notes so I can redraw them again, but except better. Here you go. I guess this means my good mood is, my good mood is have ne- Oh, I didn't make the big brantini. Whoops. Can't you make up with the other half with the fact that I'm here alive? Hmm. Can I ask you two something? Sure. I guess. How did you two meet? Stella showed up in the park I used to play at when I was a kid. We played a couple of times. She started showing up more and more, and that was it. <clears throat> My father told me that when I was five, I kept insisting on going to a real kid's park. We drove for some time, and the park I liked was the one Say happened to be at. Have you ever seen a girl in a dress go to a muddy park? She learned her lesson, and she started showing up with more fitting clothes. But man, that's a scene I can't forget. So you two have known each other for most of your lives? I've known her long enough I've known my own father. Why the question? No reason. You you two just look so comfortable with each other, any other person could have sworn you were an item. An item? Uh, what kind of item? A couple, say. Oh, I... T uh, yeah! I get that now. It's funny, because we actually earned a mock prize of sorts for best couple at Stella's high school. Three years in a row. So you two didn't go to the same high school? Nope. Oh. Don't you have any childhood friends, Jill? Childhood friends? I... I'm, I can't think of any. My grandpa, I guess. What kind of man was he? Gruff. The kind to eat raw Bronson roots every morning <sighs> but around me he was different I have memories of him barking orders to my dad only to turn around and play with me gently it's interesting though he was my mom's dad but after my mom and dad separated he stayed with my dad but yeah he's the one that comes to mind when I think about childhood friends ooh Hey, Jill, what's this, uh, the uh, bloom light? A spicy drink. Tastes nice the first time, but it gets same e after a while. It's also brown for some reason. Give me one of those, please. I'll have one, too. On it. Bloom lights for the girls. Want some bloom lights for the girls. We can provide here at Valhalla. Whatever you'd like, we've got it for you. If you don't like it, don't order it. Quite simply, if you don't want it. If you're not enjoying what you're eating, whoops. If you're not enjoying what you're eating, if you're not enjoying what you're drinking, like, send it back. Don't continue with it. Don't torture yourself with it. Honestly, if I were the chef at a restaurant, and I was told that somebody at my restaurant was continuing to eat the thing that they specifically did not like. I'd be like, ah, 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 it's fine. Send it back. I don't want you to eat something that you don't like. I'll make it for you again. What do you like? You want some chicken strips? Make you some of that. You don't need any of this fancy pasta stuff. Here you go. If, the if what you're drinking in the glass is what you like, then you're absolutely doing the drink right. With or without alcohol, with or without a recipe, it doesn't matter. I don't know, I kind of like it. Yeah, but after the third one, it starts tasting like sand. Spicy sand, but sand nonetheless. Who's... Ugh. Who's doing the lights?
Oh, well, I guess she had too much before I came. Well, that and eh, that she must still be tired. Small bank thing? She told me about everything that happened in there. To be honest, I... I don't know. I don't think I would have made it in her place. I guess I should be thankful for the man nano machine treatment she went through with as a white knight. Treatment? Trauma suppressors. Basically, it helps with the healing process of PTSD. It's mandatory for every white knight, regardless of, di of division. Oh. Still, healing can only do so much. For three days, the bank that bank was hell, and poor Say is still paying for it. The disbanding of the White Knights and subsequent persecution of those who were to identify as former members. It's unfair, you know? Well, among all the people using the White Knights to further their own goals, like... Say's one of the few that actually believed in what they were supposed to do. It paid off, though. The doctor who treated her wounds was the same one she's always assisted with accidents and emergencies. He treated her at no cost whatsoever. Well, it... Good karma and all that. She's earned the gods' favor, I think. But, you know, all that made me realize I might be a bad person. How? When I saw Say, wounded, asking for help, a part of me was happy. After all this time meeting her, she finally needed me. I felt truly useful to her for the first time. How sad is that? Sometimes the best help one can provide is to stay alive. Who knows, maybe it was the idea of coming back to you that helped her. And I guess you wouldn't be human without thoughts like those once in a while. Maybe. Can I get you anything else? I'm good. I should be leaving, actually. Say, come on. We need to go. Try. We'll be leaving now. Thank you, and please come again. Feeling better? No. I don't reek of rage anymore. But still feel like a piece of shit. Little steps, I guess. Hello? Oh, Kim! Welcome! I was afraid I'd mix up the directions and end up in someone's house or something. What can I get you? I'll have a sunset cloud, please. Sure. Excuse me. I can really taste the clementine from before. She wants a sunshine cloud. And if it's a sunshine cloud she wants, it's a sunshine cloud that she will receive. If I do things correctly and remember how to count. Nah. She doesn't need it. She don't need it. She don't need the alcohol. Rocks and blend. Oh, I didn't. I didn't send it long enough. It needs to blend. It's got to blend. It's got to blend. There we go. Sunshine cloud. Nice and orange and with another bay leaf. Pineapple leaf. I am not so sure. Here you go. Thanks. So how's work on the web paper? Oh, <laughs> I quit. What? Yep, I went to the office that chauvinistic horse blower and told him I quit. Why'd you do that? I arrived early in my meeting and got some assignment. I spent hours doing it. Only for the other <laughs> bitches to come and ruin it. After that, I didn't have time left for my soup, so my supervisor scolded me. So I snapped and quit on a whim. Oh. Don't you have any second thoughts? You ever get anything? I guess you'll always have second thoughts, even if you do what you want. You'll still think, what if? Even so, I was getting physically sick there. I dreaded arrival of every morning. I, I, I even almost... 
what I'm saying is, I don't know what I'll do, but it's certainly better than being there. I feel free. Free. It's a wonderful feeling, you know? I feel like I can find something I care about. I won't return to the Augmented Eye, but I could still pursue journalism with another outlet. I haven't felt like this in... Well, I, I haven't felt like this in never. <clears throat> what about your family? They weren't happy. Hell, that's for sure. My dad took it better, but my mom freaked out, to put it mildly. What are you going to do? And all that. But I'm not here about that. Give me a big drink. Please. What kind? I don't know. Bubbly or something. Big and bubbly. Well, it's a good thing we have an entire category dedicated to bubbly drinks. You want a beer? I don't know. I feel like the COVID, Cobalt Velvet would be more up your alley. Then again, I don't know. I could be totally wrong about that. Maybe she's a beer girl. I have absolutely no way of knowing unless I was given the preferences at the very beginning. Not aged. Vox Mix. Big Cobalt Velvet. There you go. If detergent commercials are to be believed, this will clean up my insides. Because it looks like Windex. It'll also kill some things inside of you. Or, or, or Tide. It kind of looks like Tide as well. I gotta ask, though, how did you end up working there? No deep reason. That's just what I did when I got out of high school. Taking a year off was out of the question, so I went for the first thing I thought about. But I couldn't get into the robotics course, so I settled for journalism. So, to be honest, I got tired of the job midway through it, but I couldn't bring myself to leave. Ah, too much pressure for my family. It's a really complicated, really common tale, I guess. Did you have troubles like those? Same story as you. I just went through the motions from high school to college. I never stopped to think about what I was doing. And then at some point, I just felt like my life slipped through my fingers. Suddenly, all I wanted was freedom. A little pause to stop and take a breather. Wait a bull. And my life went to hell for that fucking breather. I... Um... Give me your... Something. Something. Sorry, I, I just have a dry mouth. Anything will do. Alright. Something. Literally. What do you What do you want? You want to... Something bubbly? Frothy water. It's something, alright. Oh... For God's sake, it is. Frothy water. There you go. It's something, all right. Here you go. Thanks. Um, I feel like I asked something I shouldn't have. Don't fret about it. I'm just in a rough spot right now. What are you going to do now? Honestly, I don't know. I do feel liberated, however. Like, like I can do whatever I want. Study whatever I like. Work wherever I want. I I know it's not that way and it won't be easy, but I feel a lot more confident than when I was out of high school. I honestly don't get why they put young people who barely know how society works through that one. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Your mental health should be your priority and all that. True. Thanks, I really needed the encouragement. Come back if you need more encouragement. We'd be happy to provide you some. I wouldn't dare leave someone alone when it comes to this sort of thing. Thanks. Bye, Jill. Please come again. <sighs> you should take some of that advice for yourself. I know, I know. Let's call it a day for now. You really need some rest. Yeah. Honey! Ah, Dorothy, sorry, we're... We're just closing. I know, I came for you. For me? 
Why are you hugging me? I paid her to do that. All night long. Come again? To put it simply, Dorothy will go home with you and she will not leave your side. What do you hope to accomplish with that? Well, at first it was to calm that rage you had earlier. It was either hugs or a cold bucket, and I don't promise there'll be any water in it. You calm down a bit, but honestly, I know better than to leave you alone for another night. At the very least, all the cuddling will give you an epiphany or something. That's some alien reasoning right there. It's not. You need hugs. Many. You need some human... Um, well... Humanoid contact right now. You had your alone time. Now we're playing by my rules. Please take care of me. Total earnings for the evening has been $26,730. Total earnings for the entire playthrough so far. Drinks total of 1,440. Mistakes none. Really? Thought I made a mistake. Commission, 30%. Today's payment, 432. Tips, 150. Flawless service bonus, 500. Treat yourself. Buy something nice for you and Dorothy. 500. Today's total transfer, $1,582. I have enough to pay the rent in a couple days. I like that. Your electricity bill will be sent out. Yeah. Bought the stuff she wanted. Wow, who's that Willem? A very good friend. Take a look at the updated things for tonight. See how that's going. The Augmented Eye. Quincy studies the possibility of allowing imports by Lana Smithy. Glitch City is one of the few places on Earth that's strictly self-sufficient with an import rate of only 0.8%. However, that might change due to the recent shortages across the city. Prime Minister Quincy revealed this morning that the government plans to have a more relaxed policy for importers. We won't lift the currency control. We can provide we can provide them for foreign currency at a low fixed rate. That way, we can secure essential items at affordable prices. Quincy told the augmented eye. Some experts say that private companies are no longer working at full capacity, which is unsurprising news given that the Quincy government has seized most of them, resulting in the shortage crisis in the first place. So we decided not to steal all the city's funds. Good. Excuse me. Is Kiri Miki the biggest pop idol in history by Lana Smithy? The world at large is still coming to terms with the idea of the Lilum being so quickly integrated in our society. Some say they can't be treated as human because they're immortal as, as such cannot really understand what it's like to be alive. But most of the Kiri Miki fandom would disagree. anti lilum people are insane. To me, Miki knows more about life than I do, and I'm older than this damn city. Richard Show. 55, told the Augmented Eye during a fan gathering. I'm with Richard, added Nacho. 6, I may be a dog, but I'm utterly fascinated with the way she writes about things in her blog. She's impressed by everything, and nobody really knows what life she's about anyway. Nobody knows what life's about anyway. Nacho? Dog? Oh, don't tell me. Lilum receiving mysterious messages by Lana Smithy. Halloween was back in October, but this terrifying tale didn't become popular until now. Reports say that the Lilm across the city have been receiving strange transmissions with messages that are confusing at best and threatening at worst. The contents are not clear, as most of the Lilm can't remember exactly what they have heard. But the most mysterious thing of all is perhaps the fact that the Lilm could not record any of these messages while they were being broadcasted. It was almost as if something had blocked the Lilm from doing so. While we have nothing but anecdotal proof, even among our own Lilum, the mystery behind these messages is one we should be paying attention to. Meow. Spooky. Or a bluff. And what about Danger You? Monster Girlfriend, Chirari. Can't stop playing this game! Gorgeous graphics, innovative and addictive battle system, fun dating minigames, cute girls, that fucking music. Is this the goat? I don't know. Do you like the goat girl? Hey. I'm gonna marry a goat. It's an alright game. 8 out of 10 at most. Shit game. It's a shitty game for idiot waifu bots like you. I wish this waifu bad game would die. 
It's a stupid game pandering to idiots. That's what's there to discuss. Are we being raided by normies? Mm -hmm. Normies. Fuck off. Fun things are fun. You're not allowed to have fun with video games. Meow, sad it's fun. It's for nerds. And let's do a life backup. Do, 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 do. Do. It has been saved. And that... That about does it for me this evening. It is about 1.30 in the morning over here on the eastern coast of the United States. It's been a hot session. I need to drink more water. I definitely do. And that's the last of it. I hope that everyone was able to have a wonderful evening so far. If you enjoyed it, Feel free to drop a follow. If you don't want to, there's absolutely no pressure. It's a party. You can come in. You can stay out. The door's open. It's whatever you want it to be. Let's see who else is going on right now. If there's anybody else streaming. I see Eric, also from Sparked, is playing some Minecraft right now, which I was playing just on Friday. So I'm going to send you all over to him because uh, I got some sleep that I have to... I've got some sleep that I got to catch up on too. Again, I hope that everyone was able to enjoy their, yourselves. If you want to come back again next time, feel free to. I really enjoy doing stuff like this. It reminds me of my acting days. It's very enjoyable. And if I'm making at least one person smile, it's totally worth it. I hope that everybody has a wonderful rest of the night. If it's morning where you are, if the sun's just riding, have a wonderful morning. If it's already halfway through the day, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Whatever it is, I hope the rest of... The day that you are awake for is nice. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I'll see you next time. And to all those joining for the VOD later, this is YouTube. Woot. Let's do it. Have a wonderful rest of the night, evening, afternoon. Peace out. I'm signing out for the evening on my end. Bye.